<laughs> and we're live. Yo. Oh my god. As we listened to I think Sean's monster truck commercial. <laughs> As we go live. I mean he hello was in Texas, and so, you know. it's it's comes it with the territory. Oh, it's dirt it's truck rally. Yeah. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Because it is <laughs> literally Sunday. Welcome everyone to it Duval is and Dragons. Fucking Sunday. Du- oh. 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 And Dragon. Dragon. And Dragon. <laughs> and Dragon. 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 How Wait, is- there are dragons? There are Sometimes. dragons. Yes. I mean, maybe. Pseudo dragon. I mean, there was a rock. There was a rock. <laughs> Rocks can be. There was rocks are definitely. Dr- dr- I almost said dragonius. That doesn't make any sense. Draconic. Anyway, draconic. Oh <laughs> god. Yes. Anyway, hello everyone. <laughs> I am your dungeon master. No. Right. Exactly. Duval King Jabib on the internet. Um, it is as always a pleasure to be here uh, with all of you. There have been six of these. This is stupid. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. Anyway, so uh, love the fact that that's that that's a thing, and then we will continue to do it. So, a uh, bit of housekeeping. Uh, we uh, would be remiss if we didn't mention our beautiful avian friend, uh, Worskreet, uh, i.e. Fenway, cannot be with us today. But that's because internets are hard sometimes. Uh, but many, many, many loves and hearts, and uh, make sure to check out Jasper's Game Day as always. And um, they will be back next time. So don't worry, some chaotic ass Eric Cockery and shit will happen next time. So do not worry about that. However, we have someone that's come back from being gone. Jeremy, why don't you kick it off with introductions and tell the people who the hell you are? Hi, I am uh, Jeremy, also known as Darth and Trary on the internet. Uh, you can pretty much find me there. Um, got a project coming up soon with Onyx Path that uh, I'll be running a vampire game. So uh, that starts Yay. the 17th of October. So check us out on Onyx Path. Be 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, and I'm just happy to be back. I missed you all. Missed you too, man. Missed you too. Um, so um, cannot wait to see what you have in store for us tonight. So moving up the list, Chris, why don't you tell the folks at home who you be, sir? Well, I'll be playing Sator, the half-orc barbarian who has a little bit of a mind problem, maybe, or something else is going on. Uh, yeah, and he's, uh, uh, I'll be, you can find me over on Twitter, at Chris N, and we'll talk more about what I do at the end of the show. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. And then switching over to the other side, the official cartographer of Duval and Dragons, which is always going to be so cool to say. Jess, tell us about you and who you are, please. Oh, hi. I'm Jess, aka Freckle Sketches, on the Twitter, Instagrams, and Facebook, the official um, cartographer of Duval and Dragons. I'm playing Zakria Rahashi, our fire genasi paladin who is tired of everybody's shit, but I'm not, and I'm really excited to see not everybody my, Not today. mine. <laughs> <laughs> you you you're, left. If anything, she's you're frustrated the you're gone. <laughs> everybody's shit. Like, everybody. Everybody. <laughs> all, of, all of the shit. There we go. I forgot to turn on the music. There it is. Oh. Uh, so awesome. Yes, cannot wait to, to see what you'll have in store here. Where'd it go? Yep, do you want me to turn it up a little bit? No, I just, uh, I... I had a. Uh, I'm okay. I think maybe. Uh, okay. Oh, there it is. I got it. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Oh, I got and so, so and since you're talking, Maddie, go for it. Who are oh, you? Oh no, <laughs> it's Maddie. Hey, folks, what's up? Um, I'm not gonna have a weird voice today. I'm just gonna have Maddie's voice, and we'll see how that goes. Cause I have a very low register. But I'm playing Rilo Rumblebelly the. Patifling source lock. Um, and uh, I apparently throw up, and I have a pseudo dragon. This is this is this is these are these are facts. All of them, all of them. Uh, survey ju- judges judges. That's the best. Yes. Check. Ding. <laughs> ding. <laughs> ding ding exactly. Duval and pseudo dragons. All right. Last but certainly. Not least, Sean, tell us about yourself, sir. 
no one's least here. No one. Uh, I am Sean, aka at no tweet Sean. Uh, you can find me as Obnox Sean or Sean the Goofy GM or a bunch of different names. But for the most part, no tweet Sean on Twitter. Um, I am one of the administrators over at Thread Raiders and I play Horace Green Eye, the uh, fiend oh, warlock mountain dwarf. I heard that. <laughs> mountain dwarf. Who said that? I don't know. What? I couldn't what? see him. <laughs> oh that's funny um nicely done phenomenal all right so as we jump right in we're gonna do something a little a wee little bit different um because you know typically we'll get into what happened last time and you kick things into gear however as the peacekeepers uh the heroes of the uh kingdom of duvalia um have been on a bit of a sabbatical, a bit of a vacation, currently on day three of seven. So why don't we, as we, uh, as they begin to, be, or as they, I'll say, begin their day in the Two Cats Inn, having um, quite the night, uh, for most of them anyway. Um, so Devin, what have you been up to? Uh, as the group went to go get sandwiches and apparently have to throw up best without him. Um, Devin kind of sticks to the shadows like he does and vanishes. And he goes to a lower part of the kingdom. Uh, a little bit less fortunate. And he first stops at a house and knocks on a door. Uh, a human woman with red hair opens the door. Uh, he hands her a sack and quietly bows and turns and walks away. Uh, he goes a little further into town where he open, uh, he knocks on another door um, and a half-orc woman opens the door and he does the same thing. He hands her a pouch and he goes to a third house and knocks on the door and uh, an elven man answers the door and two little children come running up um, and they start tugging on Devin's uh, pants because they haven't seen him in a while. And uh, he hands the man a third pouch and says that he'll see him again next month. Um, and then he makes his way toward the castle, but he kind of takes a detour and stops at one of the local pubs where a bit of the ruffians hang out, hangs out and uh, proceeds to drink himself into forgetfulness for a little while. Lovely. Awesome, 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 awesome. Yep. Yeah, you guys don't have to report back to the castle until a couple of days from now. Um, but you know, you do what you want to do. Um, but fantastic. Uh, so, um, Horace, what about you? Oh, well, uh, I did have a lovely time with my little friend Rallo. Um, <clears throat> we, we went to a local establishment uh, eatery, I believe. Uh, what was it? Uh, Blue Boys? That would be Blue Boys. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, they were quite hospitable there. Uh, perhaps a bit naive, but, you know, it, it was fine. They had a, a ridiculously sized sandwich that uh, I unfortunately convinced my good friend Rilo to eat. Um, and, uh, well, you know, it didn't sit too well with him. He was doing really well, though. You know, I was, I was trying to help him. Uh, but uh, the poor little guy, I don't, I don't think there was enough room inside him for that sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, yeah, he, he, uh, he let it, he let it go, to, so to speak, all, all over me. It was uh, <laughs> unpleasant it was to say the least. Quite the affair. I had a good sandwich, and uh, you know, he was kind enough to replace my sandwich, which he had vomited all over. Uh, and uh, we, we had a good time overall. Um, we, we met a, a, a strange fella in, uh, in the bar and had, had a, uh, somewhat of a raucous night with some, um, uh, unsavory car dealers. Yes, indeed. A, uh, cl a cluster, if you will, of, uh, very rowdy gnomes, uh, with a, uh, in a very festive game of Go Lich. <laughs> 
<laughs> is that like a deck of many things game? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> it could Something be. Like Sponsored <laughs> Dumpkin. <laughs> hey, someone wants to make me go in, I will, you know, I will, I will talk about whatever your company does. No problem. Uh, awesome. Anything else to add? Oh, not at the moment. I, I, I think right. I let off uh, up friends fill in the gaps for us. All right, Rilo, as you look at your free the fuck sign. Oh, hello. Um, hmm. what did we do? Oh, okay. So, like he said, stuff, sandwich, projectile, and um, apparently I found out why my family's name is Rumble Belly. Okay? <laughs> um, <clears throat> then, uh, we went to the cousin. That was great. I had a really interesting conversation with uh, Horace that night. I don't know. I might be second guessing how I feel about him. I mean, I like him at all. But maybe. Maybe we can trust him. <coughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That is a raven. Seem to have a bit of a cough there, Devin. Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> um, you know, the the proof will be in the pudding. Ooh, pudding. That sounds good. Love it. Love I can't it, remember it. anything else. Okay, that's totally fine. All right, uh, Zakria. All right, so uh, I made my way over to the sheik. Got myself my usual, a little extra mm -hmm. spice. Oh yeah, Camera was, um, a little bit of something, something. Always was um, I guess interrogated by some stranger regarding the state of things. It was very wet outside. I was not pleased. <laughs> I uh, made my way down to the two cats and discovered were. Uh, losing her fucking mind, for lack of a better term. Something about a train, something about it being metal. I wasn't sure. Then a man, who seemed half-elf but wasn't, uh, met us, questioned us about our allegiances, or whether or not the the state of things would remain if there would continue to be peace. They turned out to be a bugbear by the name of Trelemir. They seemed to know where they were going, and I made sure that they knew that they had allies in the peacekeepers. Shortly thereafter, we discovered Sator drunk out of his mind. We discovered that the barkeep is all but too friendly. And I had words with some very conniving halflings. Those who yes, shouldn't indeed. take advantage of others. And that was my night. Indeed. Love it. Awesome stuff. And finally, Satira, you had a very, a very interesting day for sure. Oh yes, I I that is true. Uh I started my night. Uh, having a hard time letting go of my f my friend Sue uh, for her to get to repaired. It was a but Mary and and Bert they talked me into it um, and persuaded me to head towards the two cats in in order to uh, as you say drink my sorrows away. Uh, was confronted by one of those miscreants of the, uh, not sure who they were, but they attacked us earlier and uh, decided to, he decided that it was better off to scamper away than to cross in a half orc in a foul mood. Um, while I was enjoying my drink, 
evidently fellow members of my party thought it was a, that I had had enough when I had not quite enough and decided that they needed to take me drink away. So I decided to play cards. And then as the night wore on, I headed up to bed and had a nice continued talk with Bert in Mary. Lovely. So, uh, so an eventful day indeed. Um, you know, vacation comes in all shapes and sizes, so to speak. <clears throat> but that was yesterday. And onward to today, uh, as ma the majority of you, uh, having spent the night um, at the Two Cats Inn, are um, roused awake early in the morning by the promise of a typical Two Cats Inn breakfast of a little bit of eggs, a little bit of bacon, seems to enter your nostrils smell wise anyway you, you know if you didn't they're not summing it up there <laughs> just making sure you understand mm. uh, and uh if you'd like you can make your way downstairs and the day is yours what would you all like to do what the hell is that smell oh my mm. god that's so good <laughs> is gonna hit her wall and go shut up <laughs> What is that smell? I'll already, be, I'll already be downstairs enjoying a uh, warm tea before everyone else is already downstairs. Oh my God. Wonderful. I can't get dressed fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, Horace will get ready and be outside of Rilo's door just waiting on him. Okay. Oh my god! Horace, what's that smell? Oh, there you are. It took you long enough. Uh, breakfast is ready. Come on. What's that smell? What's that smell? It smells so food. good. Food! Would you stop? I know it's food. I'm not stupid, but <clears throat> I've never smelled that smell before, and it's intoxicating. Uh, most likely the bacon. Bacon? What's bacon? Okay. All right. Um, it's uh, if fatty strips of meat, the you'll like them. That sounds, that sounds delicious. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so you all begin to make your way downstairs. Uh, Zakria, what about you? Staying in your room, hanging out? She's gonna stay in her room for a few minutes. Um, tend to her beetle, make sure her armor is on appropriately, sharpen her weapon, and then head down. Got it. Uh, now, Devin, you did mention earlier in your recap that you were thinking about heading your way to the castle, but I believe, if my memory is correct, your, your plan was to meet up with the folks at, at Two Cats eventually. Um, but I'll leave this up to you. Okay. Uh, he realizes that it's a couple of days before they're actually supposed to report in. So he's actually going, he starts asking around to the guards if Aww. there's been any, any thing odd going on um and he probably gets a recap of the the throw throwing up the teethling stuff like that um, so he will head toward do me a favor make an investigation check okay welcome raiders ha huh. i feel a raid <laughs> it's a raid uh, it's a raid some do all that's a 15 it's a 15. All right. Yeah. So you actually come across a, a few um, guards kind of making um, making the rounds. Um, and uh, one of them kind of uh, gives you kind of a knowing nod, recognizing you um, immediately. Uh, nothing uh, out of the ordinary except for one particular strange instance. Um, there was a report in the, on the, in the North Side District, uh, you know, the shoddy portion of town um some someone says that there's like allegedly this ghost apparently like a g -g 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 ghost whatever i mean it's just riffraff probably just probably a bunch of kids trying to scare each other Shut up. the north wards you said mm -mm. 
I'll yeah. look into it. Yeah, go for it. All aboard the train to Nowheresville. He walks away. He will make his way to the two cats. Okay. All right. <laughs> so downstairs waiting for you, the, the remainder of you all is this, um, so a, a few trays actually, full, uh, very continental breakfast style, um, completely uh, like eggs, but mostly scrambled, but there's also like a small tin of sunny side up as well as uh, bacon and, and sausage, as well as uh, coffee, tea, uh, orange juice, apple juice. It's uh, quite a display. Hmm. Um, and you are greeted by this uh, young lady that you've actually never seen before wearing this uh, kind of like small bonnet covering um, green hair that's like tied into um, pigtails. Well, good morning, everyone. Um, it uh, seems that you all are risen for the day. It's great. Um, good morning, good morning. Have, find a seat, find a seat and help yourselves. Let me know if you need anything. Help ourselves, where? Where do we get the bacon? Uh, sir, it's right over here. Okay, bye. <laughs> As he misty steps over there. Oh, oh, that's a... Why not? Huh, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Mm, now, Rollo, don't show off. <laughs> what? What? I'm hungry. Uh, yeah, but, you know, folks around here aren't exactly used to magic. Young, young lass, I, I about that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not familiar with you. I um, where, where's our other tender? Oh, uh, he's probably still asleep. <laughs> um, I'm Aaron. Aaron, no, oh, it's lovely to meet you, Aaron. I'm Sator. Nice to meet you, S Sator. Nice to yes, meet you. Yes, ma'am. Very cool. I like your hat. Well, thank you. Bird likes you too. Cool. Just uh, I'll head to the back and get some some refills ready. So just yell yell really loud if you need anything. Cool. Uh, it goes behind the bar and into the kitchen downstairs. Uh, Horace is just going to uh, grab like a, a couple of like scones and put like some butter and jam on them. Take him off on a little plate and just kind of sit by himself for a little bit, glance at a book, but kind of just nervously eat and look around. All right. A few moments later, I'd I'd say, Devin, you can you make your way into into two cats as per as per usual if you'd like to. Uh, yeah, Devin will come in. He'll look around, see if he can find everybody, and as soon as he sees them, he'll go sit at the table with them. Yeah. Oh, the prodigal find. son has returned. Devin, have you had the bacon? There's bacon? Yes. No, hey. I haven't had any today. Oh my god, uh, you gotta go get some. So I will go get some in a minute. Well, meet Devin. Hey, I, did you have a good night? <laughs> I, I had an all right night. You look like <laughs> you're looking like you might have had a good night. I I was until somebody cut it short. I but she's not down here yet. She is I'm the cat. coming. I'm coming. Is that a she short is, joke? She is the leader. Um, so what she says goes. Mm -hmm. If she thinks you've had a bit too much, and trust me, I know it's it's hard when you're enjoying the libation sometimes we don't want to stop but if Zakria thinks it is time to knock it off we should probably listen to her I've lived you as long as advantage of good friend oh. or if they tried taking advantage of some halflings tried to gamble him out of all of his money hey I see you listen. too Hey, they would have tried. Oh. They would have tried. tried. Without worse great, they would have succeeded. Oh, you think so? <laughs> I haven't lived to 42 and did not know when they're taking advantage of me, my lass. 42. 
I don't know about that. What did these halflings look like? Other than typical halflings. I took care of it. They won't be showing their faces around here. Um, I, I will say something that is I interesting found- to point out is that, uh, you know, you bring up War Creep by name and they're missing. What? Where's War Creep? Probably I causing trouble that. somewhere else. I'm busy in bacon. Wait, no, what? <sighs> Probably in our room. We should check there, I suppose. We should perhaps look for them. After breakfast. Before I'm going, I'll be back. Save me some eggs, please. Zakri is going to go upstairs and check. (laughs) Devin take care of that. Devin will make a plate for himself and Zakria. Okay. So uh, you go to what you believe to be Warscreet's room. Where? She's gonna knock. Where? It's time for breakfast. No. I'm gonna count to three. And if this door isn't open, it's gonna be gone. One. <laughs> two. The door opens. <laughs> two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just thinking about yesterday and uh, even though I will say I had uh, a great time with cards, um, you know, that thing with the train is still, you know, on on my mind. Visions are scary. Um, I know that for a fact. Um, we, We can do some looking into it. I, I remember what you told me. Um, I recall we wanted to head down to the seaside district. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll do some research into it, but you know, if you need to just take a day. Yeah. Um, besides, I've, I've got some candy to take care of. <laughs> Should I be Vacation. sending a courier to give you more somewhere in the middle of the day? Nope. <laughs> just a really big sack of candy. Zakria just fact, shuts her eyes and sighs. Yeah, I think it's actually going to become some sort of like a business deal. Um, Excuse so, me? Yeah, like official like candy shop of the peacekeepers. We're getting sponsors? It was It was their idea. Okay, what are we getting out of it? I haven't got that far. Oh boy. Okay. Um, candy. <laughs> obviously, we'll discuss candy. this with the party. <laughs> okay. I'm open to it as long as it benefits everyone. Okay. <laughs> All right. Get get some rest, please. Okay. Bye. Mm-hmm. Door closed. <laughs> She's just gonna stand there in front of the closed door for a second and just why, why? Okay, all right, okay, okay. She's gonna go back downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what about you doing downstairs? So what did the rest of you get into last night? He's got uh, a particular look at Horace. Uh, well, uh, Rallo and I went to Blue Boys. Had ourselves. Oh, yeah. I oh, feel sandwich. sorry about that, man. Um, oh, no, it's quite all right. Don't worry about sorry it. Sorry about what? Oh, I totally, I was so close to finishing that sandwich. So close. It was huge. It was almost as big as me. But, so, obviously, because it was almost as big as me, and I'm only, like, e, I kind of threw up all over horror. He entered an oh, eating no. contest. Oh no, that that's horrible. I, I you... know, right? Oh, I knew you'd be devastated, Devin. I knew it. So... That's all right, we'll, we'll work on it. We'll train you, we'll get that be- belly extended, and then next time you'll clean house. 
Oh, I would no. like to not be present during these training sessions. Oh no, you're 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 helping. You're his sponsor. Oh no no <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I you know uh huh, huh um that was fun and all, but I like experiencing new things here well, in just, this random world. Um, so just get a different to, sandwich. What are we doing today? What's our new thing today? What are we seeing for the first time? Except for this bacon. Oh my was, god! Well, don't we have to go pick up? Was it Mary or it was Sue? Wasn't it? We have to go pick up Sue. Uh, hey. Oh. Um, and then I was thinking maybe we could, we could go later on. Go to the north. Uh, I heard that supposedly there's a ghost up in the north ward. A ghost. Who did you hear that from? A a ghost. Ghost. Has the court come down? There's no Has such thing as ghosts. Yeah, she's on her. She's just sitting at the table, dipping her bacon and some of the yolks of her eggs. That's so mm. silly. Oh my I, god, that looks. I didn't delicious. know what type of type of eggs she liked. I hope those are okay. Perfect. I need the protein. Uh, huh. I, uh, something to be thinking of, everybody. Um, yesterday, you know those guys that uh, jumped us on the way out of the castle? Did, did you uh, see them? I saw one. Oh. I don't know if they're following us, but oh. it might be something we take uh, take care where'd you see him just outside the two cats a few blocks up looking at you or just walking around Fo following me invisible invis um that that thing that that uh in that invisibly you, yes that's the word yeah that that definitely indicates they're trying to follow us that could be a problem it if was they're just trying one. to follow us discreetly, then it I guess just they're too one. afraid. But uh, he uh, brandished his, his weapon at me and then decided it was a bad idea to to uh, confront me in the foul mood I was in. So he ran yeah, away. That sounds like a stupid idea, really. What did this individual look like? Uh, he was a, uh, the smaller uh, half halfling like size and then uh, in red 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 armor red armor story uh oh gosh does that ring a bell the red armor um it does um as a matter of fact when you were all leaving um castle Duval for the uh first time there was that hand axe that was thrown, uh, nearly missing Satir's head. And the three, uh, the group of three that uh, confronted all of you before you headed to town. I was out on. Oh, I was yeah, out you scouting. You went down that so. one. Oh, yes, right. No. So no. So nope. <laughs> okay. no, no, I just wanted to check. Yeah, I was Fair like, enough. wait, that happened. Nope. <laughs> that happened while I was out looking for magic uh, stuff. Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. All right. So was he using magic or was he doing what I do? Mm, no, it was it was what Rilo does and and just yeah. So magic. But it was mad magic, yes. That's that's the word. Magic. Or just weird stuff. You know. Yes, that's it. Weird oh. stuff. Yeah. That's fair. Oh. So we you have know? ghosts. Or a possible ghost, or someone pretending to be a ghost. What? And you have halflings that are trying to kill Sator? Or at least put his. You have halflings. It seems to or... be a party of people. We yeah, must be on our guard. The half axe, that was not fun. Oh, hey. right. Those folks with the, with the, with the attitude and the, the CNBC. The CNBC, right. As far as I remember, they told me they were the Clay Nassau Baker conglomerate. Whoa, you does that a ring a bell? Memory, make a history check. Oh. I need to have a good memory. 
have to remember the people who try to escape. Bum, bum. I, uh, not so great with that. <laughs> well, an escape? <laughs> That's only a 13. 13. Um, remember. Doesn't ring yeah. a bell. Um, which is probably strange given your your history. Um, doesn't sound right. familiar. We should perhaps we'll keep that in mind. put a word out to the town guards to keep an eye on people with mm. red armor claiming to be part of this CNBC. Next Especially time we'll since they've been hostile. Huh. Well, what about our goblin friends? <laughs> what about them? Uh, right. We ever going back to see them? Hey, didn't you say they have something you need, Horace? They might. Their mistress has something that he wants. They kept their promise to us, but uh, for all intents and purposes, I do not care for interacting with them if they're going to be tricksy. Well, sometimes you gotta be tricksy to, like, you know, survive. We all can't be all super that. strong and well scaled like you, Zakria. Mm, do we know how bad the the ghosts are in the north? Is it a big thing? Is it something that needs our attention now? There's a few things that need our attention. After War's episode in the front of the two cats, we should also perhaps look into what she saw. Very what well. did she see? Oh, she was, I guess, sat in the front of the two cats after seeing an intense vision, something about trains and these numbers that would fly across. Um, it wasn't a normal train, like a caravan thing. It was a, she was very specific. It was a big metal train. A train to nowhere? I, she didn't say where it was going. She said there was explosions and fire, and it looked like there was danger. She, she say was she a little it? hysterical. She was here, and suddenly she wasn't. She was in that place. What was the... She had a vision. Horus. It seemed like it, because she was fine. Hmm? Horus, what was the... One of the guards that I talked to about the ghost said something about a train to nowhere. What? That's odd. Hmm. I don't like that. Hey, it kind of ties in with the ghosts too then. If he I... told you about the ghost of the North Ward. I... So I... maybe we look into the ghost and see if it's connected to this train that we saw. Go ahead, Rallo. Um... There was something back there. Was it the the blue the blue light, the thing where the people disappeared? Yes. Um, like where we got the ore. Something about what were told us yesterday made me think about that thing, and I don't know why. But I'm trying to remember. Hmm. As a person of faith, it didn't look like she'd had a vision like this before, or any vision generally. She doesn't strike me as the um, a thoughtful type. You never know with monks. I think she's very thoughtful, but just probably different things. Like candy. Well, I mean... Hey. She likes the sweets a little much. Don't we all? Uh, my teeth are very tied to a little more uh, smoky flavor, if you know what I mean. I like the bacon. <laughs> aye. Aye, Rilo. It's, 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 it's the bacon. Fair. But I mean, like, I think there's room for all of it, really. <laughs> it's so good. Um, mm. If you've got a sweet tooth, try dipping the bacon in some maple. Mm. What? Sometimes they cook it with it. It's pretty good. Caramelizes it. Wow. 
guys have so much variety in food up here. This is crazy. Okay. You're just getting started. Oh. I am fascinated. Um, okay. And this ghost thing, I'm really interested in this because I really believe that ghosts don't exist. Um, and I would love to be proved wrong. I would love to prove that you are right that they don't exist, but I would much rather not be ghosts. But if it is, it needs to be dealt with. Like maybe it's just like a person with like a big old bed sheet over them. That or it could be the CNBC or these ruffians who tried to take all of Sator's belongings. Huh. Or it could just be some kids trying to scare adults or each other. <laughs> oh, that's funny. We may want to find these CNBC folks first. We won't want them broadcasting a message against us. What could they possibly say? If, if I remember right, uh, didn't they say they think we're phonies? That can only be proven. Well, people sometimes believe a lot without much evidence. And they're dumb. I don't know. I think I'm pretty genuine. <laughs> what? That that you are, Rallo. That you are. Uh, there is a um, as you're having this conversation, the door is opened a little, uh, um, a few times. A few folks just coming in for um, a bit of breakfast. Uh, so that's not even a super big deal. Um, but uh, Zakria, there's a tap, like kind of like right, like on like near, weirdly enough, like near like your your kidney, like with, like on your armor, just a little like. Zakria is going to grab it as quickly as possible. Just. <laughs> Devin Make draws it. his crossbow and points it. Okay. Make... <laughs> okay. So you glass with your. You hear some of you wearing. They have like gauntlets on. I, I believe. am. Yes. And you grasp like this small hand. Oh! oh, 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 oh I don't and like the, to the be hand, touched. The, the hand belongs to this small child, no, no, uh, older than about five or six, um, and. He is like initially you think dark skinned, but it's actually just caked on dirt, and uh, is wearing these kind of like uh, a few days old, um, but weirdly not like a smell coming off of him, but a few days old rags. Uh, uh, That's uh, not a halfling. Uh, 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 I she's got, gonna so adjust her grip so that she's not hurting them. Okay. 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 Cool. And um. Oh. oh. I'm sorry, little one. But perhaps speak if you want to be spoken to. Oh. Okay. Um. I'm. What can I'm I sorry. do for you? Um. Hi. Uh. I was told to give you this, and like there's this like small kind of burlap envelope. They gave me money for it. Now I can get did? food. Uh, this guy? Oh, he actually told me not to tell you. Um, oh, Zakria's gonna I should have said that. Zakria's going to pick up some of the juiciest looking bacon and go, are you sure? I'm no longer sure. Yeah. <laughs> this bacon am... is yours if you tell us who gave that to you. Uh, so this guy was wearing this like, actually look kind of like that guy. He points to Devin, and uh, except for he's got like this like um, this like purple hood, and it had like this like cool like he had like this cool like red like bandana on. Yeah. Did he tell you his name? Nope. 
Mm. Nope. Purple I mean, I can I could just make one up though if you want. If it gets me more bacon, I'll totally just like make another one. Like it up, like right now. Uh, I'm really smart. She's gonna pick up another piece of bacon and say, "Give me a silly name." Oh, okay. Um, uh, and like this is like trails off for like about three seconds longer than than you wanted to. She'll wait. <laughs> She'll okay. wait. Um, uh, uh, Sven. Sven, I yeah. like it. She's gonna hand him the bacon. Oh my god! I didn't think that was good work. Bad. And then she's gonna take a gold coin out and twiddle it in between her fingers. She's gonna go. Where did you find Sven? Oh, um, I was just hanging out with my friends in the North Side District. Um, mm -hmm. We're, uh, you know, just hanging out outside because uh, we don't have an inside. So, uh, and he walked up to uh, us, and my friends are like totally just cowed. So they were like, they were, they ran away. Yeah, and but you're I was brave, like, right? Oh, I'm so brave. And so he was like, so he was, so he was like, I want you to uh, give the peacekeepers this letter. Don't tell me who. And I was like, oh my God, that's like totally cool. I'm so in. Let's do it. But I was like, but you have to like make it worth my while because I, I heard like that's a cool thing to do and say. And then it he is gave me cool. something like that. He gave me like that, that thing. He wanted something gold. And yes. like now, I don't know what to do with it. I've never had this much money before, so I have no idea what to do with it. Okay, I think well, I'm gonna buy it like a crossbow. No, and that might that might not be Whoa. a good idea. But you can get food, you can get clothes, you can have a bath. How many crossbows can I get with 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 one, with, with, the, with these two? Wait, none. Um, hold I on. think oh. you're a little young for people to be selling a crossbow to you, dear. How old is he? He's about four-ish. What? Anybody. Oh my god, dude! You don't need a crossbow. You're far. But like, it could, things could be dangerous and stuff. Like, what the if Korea's I'm like gonna, by myself? The uh, crane's gonna pull out another coin, another gold piece. Great. She's gonna <gasps> fiddle there's, with it. I there's three. Oh, I have one. You have two. Okay. She's gonna fiddle with it. Um, Why and so she's gonna rich? go. If if you show me, if you take me to where you saw this person you get them both what I'm yeah oh, okay no joke. well first 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 i have to earn i have to because he he told me if i if i didn't get, give you the thing like then i'd get in trouble and i don't want to get in trouble before we like go into what's next so first okay. you gotta take it and read and read it okay just like 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 almost like a fan like like you almost get like a paper cut from the air as he just kind of puts it right in front of you zakria is gonna hand it to Devin to read okay okay she's just gonna watch this kid and just like it Devin in her head a dagger and <laughs> open it in her head she's just like oh no they're involving children and I I'd like say... to incite the child. Sure. I only mm -hmm. shot him, so. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So that'd be an 11. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. are, you re are you reading the thing? Uh, yes, I'm going to read the letter. You have a message on Discord. Okay. Ooh. Um, so kid, uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, huh? Don't worry about getting a crossbow. I will teach you how to get out of trouble if you're in danger and small. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. All right. So if someone comes up to you and looks like they might hurt you or something like that, you do three things. You scream bloody okay. loudly scream like like you've never screamed before you kick and you start crying okay okay and i tell you what anybody's gonna walk away from that you're good and i'll uh, i'll send you a message satir by the way um okay but he'll 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 like but like isn't like screaming like 
like I'm just as bad as my friends. Like I'm just like panicking and crying and stuff. No, it's called it's called being safe and making and, and being completely extra. Okay, I get you out of a lot of things. You know, just walk away. Okay. Yeah, you get a lot of, of travel and stuff like that. But this is really just like if someone's gonna hurt you. Like, you don't do this to your mom or a teacher or something like that. But, like, the weirdo in the street who's, like, got a well, life or something. I don't have either I don't have either one of those. So, like, I, that's totally fine. Aww. I mean, I didn't either. Huh. I get it. They have a problem. I know. I do? We got an orphan here. What's going on? Hmm. All fear high horses, you pieces of human excrement. We'll resolve our differences soon. And he'll set the letter in front of uh, Zakria, and it's written in blood-like lettering. What does excrement it's mean? Poop. Shit. Oh. Oh. Right low. What? Language. I mean, I've heard it. I've heard. I've heard that before. It's not... You know not to use it, right? You know, you so, folks here in no. Jayville are so weird about language. Jeepers. So tell me, little one, you live in the North Ward. Well, you. Yep. where do you lay your head? Um, typically, if I'm still hanging out, um, I've got this, like, uh, like me and my friends just like huddle together and like there's this like big castle that we created with a bunch of different like these wooden boxes <laughs> um but then it like it rained yesterday and like and then there was this big wind and <sighs> so i don't know how many of you are there three three mm -hmm. have you seen any have you yeah, seen the ghost uh... <laughs> <laughs> so as as he's talking to everybody, I'm gonna roll a stealth check to come up behind him. Okay, sure. What is wrong with this world? Twenty-five, natural twenty-five. Jesus Christ! Where's the tear go? You're in <laughs> another. You're in my my fifteen like level fifteen road game that just ended yesterday. Sweet. Uh, <laughs> welcome. Um, so yeah, so he's just like off on his own like diatribe at this point. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not great, but, uh, you know, you do what you gotta do. Have you seen As the he... ghost? We ghost? Talk what? To King oh. oh, there's supposedly, there's a ghost in the north. Oh. Is it here? As he does that, I go playing with Mary okay. next to him with my hand on his shoulder. Holy crap. Oh. Satir, what are you doing? Ah! And like, it's like absolutely <laughs> starts to scream, scream bloody murder uh, <laughs> as he was just as he was just taught. <laughs> ah! I, yeah. Do you guys not think a uh, a four year old would not be speaking like this and be out on his own? I don't do know. Mean? I'm not four. like first of all. First of all, rude. Absolutely. More. Totally rude. I squeeze a little harder. Ah! As, as as the electricity starts to build. My in my, now, in my, now in my make an athletics room. check. <laughs> uh, athletics. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be a 17. Okay. Uh, definitely... You're the win you win that one for sure. Uh, and so like at this point, like you kind of like, you just kind of have him and like you, you like the electricity or your lightning begins to kind of encircle him. Kind of like, ah, 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 what was the second part? So scream and then what was the number two? Oh, motherfucker, you're gonna die. <laughs> what? <laughs> You lied to us, you stupid piece of shit. You're not a kid. Don't do make me get angry. Oh, man. What do you mean I'm not a kid? So oh, Tori's got you is going to cast command. All right, go for it. 
Light a okay. satyr. Light a satyr. Go for it. See what that gets you. <laughs> <laughs> what what do you command, Zakaria? The spell. Oh, interesting. She's hoping if he's got any sort of uh, illusory magic on him that okay. it will dispel that. Okay. So... <laughs> So, in the middle of this diatribe, because he's in absolute panic mode at this particular situation, the, the there, nothing changes on his physical form, but it just goes from, like, no, I just don't understand. I wasn't lying. I absolutely wasn't lying. I don't understand. Like, mm. Oh, huh. Um. Oh, is that so? Oh. I smell smoke. Somebody's pants uh, are on fire. Other things will be on fire in a second if you don't explain. And her <laughs> hair is literally the, just starting to like do that feathery thing that fire does when it's starting to burn a little bright. You better <laughs> listen to her. She's not happy right now. Does that, does anyone have a passive perception that uh, of fifteen or higher? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, My so passive is fifteen. Okay. I am also 15. Yes, 17. Okay, cool. okay. so so Satir, Zakria, and who who was remember who was the last one? Devin. Uh, and Devin. So Devin. You all see uh, you're in the middle of this confrontation. The the you, you hear kind of footsteps coming from behind the bar, uh as Aaron like comes up with this large tray. Not and now. then just goes right back to <laughs> just I don't. Do you need coffee or tea? Not weeks? now. Not now. Away. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Hor okay. Horace Thank just you. holds his hand out, like in front of her, and just like, oh, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> he just holds onto it and then like takes one of the teas and just. <laughs> and <walks. laughs> okay. Fantastic. Does she look familiar to to Devin? Um, Aaron. Yeah. No, doesn't seem to be. Where's the normal keep? You, oh, she, she's she's good. She's gone back downstairs. Oh no, I'm asking them. <laughs> oh, oh, he's he's sleeping. She explained that he's sleeping, but no, I'm not so sure. And you just drank and that? I squeezed tighter on him. And ah, oh, 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 oh. Did you do I, something I, I with our normal keep along with trying to hurt us today? N no, not at all. Not at all. I, I'm just, I like, this is just a incredibly overwhelmingly misunderstanding of a situation. I, I was literally paid. I'm a, I'm a performer. I'm a clearly very bad bard. I'm just trying to make a buck at somebody paid me to be a kid and oh my god you're a bard oh. <laughs> misunderstood so help us to understand uh okay okay oh, good performance um, good performance well well i was uh i was uh, over at the seaside district yesterday and uh wait wait you know what no 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 both crossbows no. aimed right at his head Make an intimidation check on advantage. <laughs> oh, shit. I cast Guidance. Mm. Oh! No. <laughs> I'll let it fly. <laughs> okay, before the, before the Guidance, mm -hmm. it's an 18. Okay. It's what, a D4 for Guidance? Uh-huh. Yep. Can I assist? It was already at advantage. 21. <laughs> 21. 21. Just for funsies. I'm going to put a mage hand on the ends of his crossbow that goes... Mm. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> okay, so uh, I don't think that... I, I, I respect your position, and uh, I think you're all doing a great job. This was just... Look, I, I could have just... I, look, 
I was just gonna come in here and give you the letter and go, but I thought like if the peacekeepers if I fall in with the peacekeepers, like I'll be able to get more gigs and like things will get better for me. Huh. So I'm, accepting um threatening letters from people against the peacekeepers I, is I, a way to I had it. no idea what was in the thing. I had absolutely no if there were no that's idea. Fair. That's fair. He's no clue what was doing in. the good thing and not opening other people's mail. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Do you yeah. do you know his name? No, Did he I don't. give you a name? Nope. The tree is gonna cast name. Zone of Truth. Oh snap! Okay. <laughs> oh, no. I think we all have to make a save. No! Right? Within fifteen feet. I am definitely not standing anywhere near that. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a second natural one. Uh, okay, oh dear. What kind of save is that? Wow. That is a, a wisdom. A no, uh, no, I'm sorry, charisma. Charisma. Oh, charisma. Okay. Oh, oh that's no. better. Oh God. Okay, that'll be good. All right. Wouldn't <laughs> matter. I Fail, probably sure. stood Thirteen. <laughs> this large. Um, I think it's. Yeah, I'm an eighteen. I think you do see it. Um, but also, you know, who, I believe, if my memory is correct, you know who who saved and who didn't. Um, yes, I do. If my memory is correct. Um, so Devin doesn't. The guy, our, our, our child doesn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he sure didn't. <laughs> I failed. Satora does not. Uh, okay. I've, I passed. <clears throat> All right. Okay, I'm gonna ask you one more time. Do you know their name? I I, I have no idea who it was. What is your <clears> name? <throat> oh, uh, well, um, ironically, um, I go by uh, I don't I my nickname's actually Sven, but um, I actually go by um, Sven like uh, Shern is actually my full my full name. <sighs> Okay. Wait, was there, so... was there a spell cast? I'm sorry? Yes, right. she did the truth thing. Yes, I did zone of truth. So oh. I know now. Okay. Okay. All right. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. Now, if we asked you to take us to exactly where you found said person who uh, requested you to be a courier for the day. I mean, if I if I have to, I'd rather not. I'd oh, rather just. To. I'm not really asking. I see. Well, what about describing him? Oh, I mean, sh sure. Um, I'm happy to do that. But maybe if I could do that, I can just we can say and have a laugh, and I can get out of here. No. We need uh, as much information about the people who have threatened us and then therefore peace by proxy. You do understand. But we don't hold you as long, too long, right? No, we yeah. just want to see where you met this person. And then you right. on your way. You're lucky I'm not asking <sighs> you. Yeah, I was about to ask if that was the next step after this. Depends on how well you comply. Wonderful morning. Isn't it though? Uh, Would you like some bacon? I believe they took enough. Uh, I I could I could go for one more. There you go. <laughs> but hey, I did make for a good kid there for a little while, right? <laughs> uh, totally believable. Uh, no, I not really. What? Really? <laughs> I'm looking at uh, oh. Satora's perceptive. Ah, uh, fair I'm enough. So not. <laughs> well, uh, what will you have me do? Just take us to where you saw them. All right. Uh, I in, and... in, dis in a description of whoever was with the oh, person well. and the person and whoever was with the person. Or while we're tacking things on, anybody else? Ugh. No, I think we're already asking too much of this gentleman, and 
Yeah, I think well, we're we good. Need to, we, we need to ask now while I know I can get the truth from them. is gonna <laughs> smile really wide. I don't know. That smile's I... not gonna touch her eyes a little bit. It's gonna look manic. I, I, I... He, he has like a, like, even though he's still wearing like a, what appears to be a four-year-old, four-and-a-half-year-old face, it is, it is the grimace of a, in, of a 65-year-old. <laughs> Look, um, this guy, you know, about, I don't know, looking at, looking at Zakria, about your height, red hair, gray eyes, um, we were in, like, uh, had this, like, snake on his shoulder, it was very strange. Like an actual snake or like a tattoo? Uh, uh, a s actual snake. It was pretty strange. Ew. Yeah. You could say that. Oh. Oh my god. Cricket. Cricket. Hank. Cricket. What? I mean, Pepper. Wrong cat. What? Pepper. What? What? I don't. I'm, I'm so confused. Don't I'm, worry about it. Sorry. I needed to feed bacon to my pseudo dragon. Oh. Oh. I see. That's. Anyway. This um. Reminded me. I apologize. Um. Uh, it's fine. Uh, they, uh, or is, how how old were they? Uh, Human. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And darker skin, probably somewhere in the late twenties. Did they brandish any weapons? Uh, had a short sword to the side. Oh man. Were they with uh, anyone? No, not no. Hmm. Wish I had the Law and Order theme right now. So, uh, yeah, but yeah, I can take you to the sh the, the square, and uh, it's uh, it'll be quite busy. This time of morning, the morning rush, a bunch of the early the fishermen coming in. Even just narrowing down where they could be found would be helpful. I've got a question for you. Oh, uh, great. You wouldn't happen to be with him, would you? Define with. Working with him, part of his no. gang. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Do you Could know anything less. about the clay Nassau Baker conglomerate? Uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've heard that name in uh, a couple of the taverns I've performed in. Uh, they don't seem to like you. I mean, noticed. I mean, sorry, I didn't mean to point that out to you. I mean, the collective you. No, I, I, fair. What have you heard, if anything? Um, that you guys are like put on a pedestal. Uh, I can't argue with you're that. You're not really peacekeepers. You're just warmongers. Really, it's about the money and the power. <laughs> yada yada yada. I don't know. <laughs> I was. I got. You know. It was one of those. Um, uh, if I if I have to, uh, uh, can I smoke in here? I'm just smoking um, here. Uh, <laughs> he takes he takes out. He just kind of like, even though like, so too, you you still kind of like have him. Let's. So, where was I? Oh yeah, this is a, after a particularly <laughs> drunken exchange. Um, you know, one of those. Do you perform with intoxicated? Yes. It makes you better, right? <laughs> right. So he <laughs> just gets <laughs> offered into it. <laughs> She's just going to let him talk. She uh, knows okay. how this works. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And then, uh, and then the poems went well, got a few laughs. Uh, you know, uh, my violin kind of broke a string. That wasn't great, but I played it off. It was wonderful. Uh, but uh, but yeah, 
Uh, anyway, yeah, not with them. Whatever they are, but I've heard about I've heard about them. You know okay. what I'm saying about a metal train or a train to nowhere? What? Where? Why would a train go to nowhere? Would that be a no? no? Idea. Okay. Well, I'm not. I'm not one to lie. You will get these gold coins if you take us to this place. Oh, I, to be to be fair, I should give the gold coins now. Taking you there is extra. Oh, totally. Uh, we did pay for what we said, right? In the first point, right? Can I shoot him now? <laughs> Why would you Whoa! shoot him? We agreed that the coins would be given once we got there. If I shoot him, we don't have to give him the coins. Yes, but whoa, we also whoa. Don't... Hey, hey, Devin. But... What were you doing earlier today, anyway? Talking to the guards. Trying to find out what type of trouble you all got into. Well, what about before that? Sleeping off a hangover. Uh-huh. Well, where else did you go? I oh, went to some shady bar in There's now North the time Town. to do this, Horace. Oh, this is exactly the time to do this, my dear. <laughs> oh. Oh, I get it. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Mm. I'm sorry. Were you familiar with that shady bar? Had you been there before? All the time. Oh, did you see a friend there? Uh, I don't really have many friends. Hmm. So before you went to that bar, you had some business to do, didn't you? Maybe. I, um, I think I'll take our little friend away from here. I don't think he needs to hear our dirty laundry. Can I? I, I'm totally fine. I, you can, I, I, I'll, I'll be, I'm good right here, man. I'm absolutely, <laughs> I don't want to. As he's crying, um, like. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I don't know if it's good, it's a, if it's, a, you know, above board to, for me to smoke. In the middle of the co- the, the town square. Why? Why wouldn't it be? I don't get it. Uh, I don't know. I didn't ask. You know What's what I mean. What's wrong with smoking? Not a damn thing. I don't know. Um. Oh. Uh. Jake, can I make an Arcana check? On. On the uh, spells on a truth. Sure. Understanding it a little bit. Um, yeah. <clears throat> that would be. So 16. 16? Um, yeah! Would I know, like, one of the stipulations of the spell, specifically, um, about the truth-telling? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You, you'd know that uh, it is possible for folks, folks mm-hmm. under the spell to be aware of its uh, antiquities um, and can thus maneuver around such questions um if they so choose um so as long as it remains within the boundaries of the truth uh, what what part of town did you come from to get to that bar devin no you don't have to answer that devin i know i don't but i don't have anything to hide wanted to make sure <laughs> The south side. And wh- wh- what is it you were doing there? I'm just curious. Visiting some widows and a widower. Oh. Friends of yours? No. I told you I don't have many friends. Acquaintances then? No. Just we do not people. have to do this right now. No, it's fine, Spria. We have other business to attend to. People after our necks. Very well. Now, if you two will get over your love-hate interest in each other, then we can get on with it. Which Aye, and we can let loves, Sven go. Because I definitely hate him. Oh. Sure, sure. I knew it! <laughs> Now, let us take care of Sven 
and or shoot oh. him. I don't care. We can arrest him if he doesn't take us to where we need to be. Oh, no. I very to... much care if you shoot him. I also very much care if you shoot me. Okay. Well, I then don't. we will arrest you if you don't take us where we need to be. That's uh, completely fair. Wow. And trust me, far <laughs> worse will happen to you in jail than what we can do to you. Great. Um... He's got really well, like, nice cheekbones. They'll like you there. Mm. So if you will what? please to our agreement. A little if... flush. Mm. A little lipstick. Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll fit Ooh. in fine in prison. You know, you're right. He is a lookup. <laughs> what and are you, you, you talking about? That's so weird. Do I have the ability to walk on my own two feet pretty please? I I suppose I can let him go as long as he doesn't scamper away. He tries oh, to scamper away, I get to shoot him. How good of a bard are you? Uh, I mean, I made you think I was a four-year-old kid for a little while. Yeah, but I'm not wise. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you... I mean, hey... Uh, if it's any consolation, and he like flicks you a business card. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, oh. Okay, I'm pretty secure that we can catch him if he tries to run. Fair. I'm pretty confident that, that considering it's 1v all of you, I'm, you don't have to worry about me. Okay. I'm looking to hmm. be rid of all of you when it is appropriate. Now, now, let's not be rude, Lyle. We have a guest. We are here doing business with you, sir, and uh, we will conduct Oh, is ourselves. that what we're calling it? Well, well, we yeah, so will it call it that. when you took coin from said person to be a courier, <laughs> and now it is business for you to accept our coin to take us to where we need to be. <sighs> right. Let's, well, let's let us be on our way, I suppose. Thank you, Sven. I don't think you, I don't think you have any malice towards us or anything. And I'm beginning to. <laughs> I don't blame you there, honestly. But we mean no ill, you know. We mean we mean no ill as long as you continue to. They be. mean no ill. There's a lot of conflicting um, emotions and thoughts <laughs> in this group, really. But at the mm. heart of it all. We're 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 good. Has the spell ended? It's about a minute. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty okay. close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little, little bit. You got you got probably a, a solid sixty seconds before it does. All right. Please, Sven, if you will. <sighs> <laughs> Waddles out the door, um, and um, assuming you all follow, yes. he be begins to take you through, um, back through the middle of town, the large cobblestone town square where the um, the uh, first inaugural fair is still being set up um, for next week. Uh, and then uh, cuts, you cut shortly from your perspective, um, to the left, but it's really to the southeast. Um, and as you make your, your way out, like the actual temperature dips just a bit, like everything's fairly temperate and, and humid, but now you begin to smell a little bit of sea spray as you make your way towards uh, the seaside district, um, which uh, you kind of come across a large at the back end, um, appears to be a small ship of sorts, almost the size of like a tugboat. Um, and on either side, there's actually a, a the volume um, on either side of the street begins to rise a bit as there is several open vendors um, selling uh, what appears to be fish for resale later on. Um, there is, a uh, on the left-hand side, um, there's a gentleman kind of out and about like screaming about tuna tartar, um, buy one, get one. Um, <laughs> as you continue on, um, 
it's uh, just past the the shopping. You're to the right, kind of right behind this as, area. As he says that, Devin's going to stealth. Make a stealth check. Okay. So can you point to the precise location? I'm, I'm, I'm standing. 27. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> well, horse is going to be like, no, that wasn't so hard, was it? De oh, he's gone again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. I love it. All right. So, um, do, 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 do. Was he ever really here? Why would I you ask something like that? So, <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, so yeah. So the, uh, yeah, the very fishy smell, the combo of, of, uh, of seawater, um, all throughout your, your nostrils. He, just kind of says, yeah, just uh, we kind of had a bit of an impromptu uh, hiring. Uh, it was pretty discreet, you know, one of those quick conversation, hand wave type situations. Um, you know, it's super busy right now. Um, and it was super busy, uh, even though it was raining pretty damn hard. Um, but yeah, Here, I'll take that to gold. The Creole hand it to him. Where are you playing next? Oh, well, to be honest with you, with three gold in my hand, I might take a couple couple days off. Where, but, uh, what direction I'm, will you be heading in? I would like to see you play. I'm fond of the violin. Really? Yes. Wow. Well, huh. My assistant plays. You learn well, uh, well, typically do a bit of a weekly crawl, if you will, in the north on the in the north side district. So, uh, just listen for the violin. Uh, I will. Thank you, Sven. Uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Oh, oh boy, if I'm pretty confident that anything will be better than my experience thus far. Oh no, Sven, how old are you? Oh, um, well. In gnomish. Oh, that's rude. <gasps> You're a gnome? Yep. Whoa. Surprise. Uh, believe they call me a solid 230. Dude! Can I make a deal with you? What's that? Can I make a deal with you? Oh. Oh, boy. No <laughs> skin off your bones. Oh, uh, all right. All right. I'm listening. You get a gold piece for any information you can bring to us about this CNBC. At any point, we can be found at the barracks. In, I'm assuming in your travels as a bard, you hear lots of things. If you find anything valuable, you can get a gold piece from me, from yours truly. But any information you have on them. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> that is ooh, 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 24. Woo! All right. Paladins. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Aliens. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, so let's say that I'm, I'm rightly interested in this continuing endeavor. Uh, how much information would you deem worthy for one gold piece? I just don't want it to be a, hey, I have something for you, and then I give it to you, and you're like, eh, not enough. Fair. Names, locations, appearances, if you can't get names. All right. Mm. So, so here, maybe it's a scaling thing, where if it's not quite worth the gold, it could be worth something less. I like All that. Right. Would you be open so, to that? So an open discussion upon worth. I think that's fair. 
sliding scale, if you will. Yes. Any information will get you something. We won't just have you willy-nilly running around town, but don't right. skimp out on work about it. All right. You have my word. <clears throat> Thank you. All right. I hope this is a fruitful venture uh, for both of us. I, it, I would also say, um, maybe have it in this, the download, the discreet. Oh, yes. Because we don't know what these people are going to do about it. They've already said me that, well, they've already threatened us. I would hate for them to threaten you because you're looking and being observant. Uh, obser observant? Uh, obs observant. Yeah. Observant. That's stupid. Yeah. In, in hindsight, this is probably a really fucking stupid idea. I mean, if they threaten you, you come to us and you're under our protection and that's that. All right. Uh, now that um, we're kind of, we're on, you know, above board, uh, I think it's important to note that I am not an orphan. <laughs> oh, oh Fair. look at that. You're 200 yeah, years old. Say. Way too old to be an orphan. I mean, you know, sometimes people are down on their luck, man. I mean. <laughs> but you're an adult. You take care of yourself. Yep. Um, I'm actually a grandpa. Oh! <gasps> Oh, that's so nice. How many we will make sure that you and yours will be safe. Well, that is our prerogative. We are not peacekeepers by name. We are peacekeepers by nature. Wow. I must say, I absolutely about 10 minutes ago was never going to talk to any of you ever again and hope that, that we would never cross paths. Now my, my heart is... Uh, uh, shall we say, open to the mm. conversation. Aww. I would also say, I, if uh, your family is in need, make sure they know to say something to the proper peoples. <sighs> is that smart? No, no, to us. Oh. All right. I suppose so. That way, if if yeah. you if if something happens to you, so we know to protect them. Well, all right. Seems fair. Well, I think uh, I'm going to go see how the missus is doing. And uh, so, peacekeepers, bid you a uh, fantastic day and glad that you didn't, you know, arrest me and stuff. I thank you for your information and for your continuing efforts to help us. Oh. Oh, oh, Grandpa! Oh, gra Grandpa Sven, Sven, Sven. Oh, Sorry. oh, that's that's adorable. Um, wow. Um, are you are you feeling chilly right now? Are you feeling a little chilly? A little chilly out here. Feeling chilly? I mean, no. Nah, uh, I was about to head home, but uh, sure. Okay. Why? I'm gonna, um, cause he's wearing like a shirt, right? Like yeah. a jacket or something like that, like or yeah, whatever. yeah. Um, he, he is he is still like legitimately wearing like he was legitimately wearing like rags, like okay, you know. Yeah. I, I'm gonna yeah. like Actor. I'm gonna Actor. cast prestidigitation on his clothing to warm it okay. up for the next hour. <laughs> wow, just warm you up a little bit. That will get you quite home. Trip. That'll get you home. Oh, all right, that is quite the trick. Uh, I'm about to tell the missus about that. We're going to have to do some research. That's cool. It was nice to meet you. All right. And he'll head on off into into the morning. Zakaria's going to look at Satoru. Was that a good idea? Hey, it, you know, if, if we're at least going to try to change things, we at least need to take care of someone we're going to have as an informant. Aye. I feel good about it. Where and the hell is Devin? Uh, oh, maybe, oh but no. <laughs> maybe we don't. Maybe we don't offer this out to everyone, but at least maybe a couple. No, I think the bard would be valuable. Bards hear lots. Exactly. Well, and every positive interaction like that is good PR for us. How does he do that? What is PR? Uh, a, a a public 
relations. <laughs> oh. We, it makes a good a good impression. How's that? I should consider this. We are. Well, she's new. like thinking about her prison. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So you guys are in the seaside district, hanging out. A stealthy Devon, somewhere. <laughs> um, somewhere. He's in some do, other campaign. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you? You know, do you want to? You guys want to keep going, or do you want to take a break now? You got a spot for a break. Yeah, it's a good okay. Spot. Yeah. All right, cool, 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 cool. Well, hope you like me talking in the lowest register possible. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so it works. So it works. It works. It works. <laughs> God dang, cool. So we will return. Don't you touch that doll, because I will. Zona truth your ass so fast. No, just <laughs> Love you. See, Zona see you guys. I will shoot your you with my ass. crossbows. I, yep. so the crossbows cast Zona Truth. That's what the fingers are for. That's well, right. You know, <laughs> ass so fast is a Chetty Fan motto. So you know, let's go. Yeah. All exactly. Right, we'll be back. Thank you, Lucha. Switch to we're back. Woohoo. Cool. Sup? Hello, oh. everybody. Oh, hey. <clears throat> Didn't see you there. Who's your dad? Oh, uh, really? That's because I'm I... stealthed. That's because I'm stealthed. <laughs> that's, that's fair. Well, I don't so, know. My stuff's been pretty good, too. Wow. Like, really? <laughs> so. Natural 20s on stealth. I know, right? Just like, bop, bop, bop. So, uh, we so... return in the middle of. The seaside district, that's totally fine. I have an ego and I love hearing the dulcet tones of my own voice. So it's totally <laughs> fine. Anyway, so um, so yeah, standing, well, everyone but Devin, because Devin is somewhere else, uh, mm -hmm. in a different campaign, as per usual. Um, as you all are gathered in the cobblestone streets uh, amidst um, a literal sea of people and um, as well as uh, several kind of carts coming around, large kind of piles of fish, all shapes and sizes. Um, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, uh, you are the um, the peacekeepers, yeah? And uh, you, those of you that do spin around to this noise, um, see this uh, human kind of slick backed black hair um, wearing, um, what appears to be like the the makings of a suit missing, just missing the jacket. Um, beautiful kind of like azure blue with a kind of a tie. And he's got like a cluster of papers. Uh, so there's a, a rumor that you all were on vacation and um, here I am finding you. This is wonderful, faith is beautiful. Um, so uh, how do you feel about perhaps a bit of a relaxation, perhaps a, uh, a spa of sorts. And you Ooh. are. What's a spa? Oh, oh. Well, um, I am. My name is um, Mordai, and I own this spa that I'm referring to. I haven't opened yet. Grand opening is tomorrow, but I figured, you know, saviors of of the kingdom. Maybe I'd uh, offer them a treat. Just as a thank you, you know? Peace and tranquility and all that. <laughs> Man, I wish I had those Zona Truth arrows right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hor Horace just looks at Zakria like. We've had a bit of a day. Um, Wonderful. Well, then it's perfect. For, well, it's the morning. It's, you know, things are just getting warmed up, right? Right? One would have. <laughs> but, but for real, what's a spa? Oh, it's a place so, to relax. Oh yes, oh. and uh, you know, so you know, sometimes it gets can get a little cold at night. What if, what if we had the ability to say take you know a large tub of water and keep it consistently at high temperatures, and you can relax your uh, muscles. You know, your I mean. Pardon me, my small friend. I don't know if you have muscles. I've never seen anything like you before. However, I'm happy to, you know, for you to 
come to my establishment when when you do. I would love to sit in some hot water. I miss hot water. Oh, uh, hot water. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, I, I love that idea. Now, uh, you can find it here. And this kind of gives you all, kind of waits for you all to take this, fl- this flyer. Um, it's called the uh, Summer Breeze Spa, but um, we have a bit of a um, friends and family opening tonight and uh, love for you all to come. I'll see what you off a hot have rock massages. Us? Hmm? Sorry? What if we don't have family with us? Your family with me now. Aww. And as this like big toothy grin, it is all gold from top to bottom. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> That's so cool. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you, Chris. Well, off to paper the town, as they say. Hopefully see you all tonight. What a strange character. Why do we attack, uh, attract all the attention? What a lovely man. Hey. He seems all right. We Did need you to keep see my his teeth? Us. They're all gold. He must be rich. Either rich or prone to sweets. What? Does <laughs> sugar turn dent- your teeth into gold? If, if you've got no. a good dentist. <laughs> Some people replace their teeth with gold because the sweets have worn away their teeth. What? Worn away from sweets? You might need to take you to a cleric. <laughs> what? At least get them checked. Well, let's remember why we're here. And he summons his, uh, like, ghostly axe. (laughs) Shut the front door. Oh (laughs) my god, I'm never having any more candy. (laughs) I... uh, We're we're here to find a person? Um... Yes. Um... Human? Cloak? (laughs) Purple cloak. Red bandana, red hair. Right, the red and purple, like, so gauche. Gray eyes with a snake. Darker skin, late 20s. Um, hmm. So, I'm not excited to split up. Should we set off in pairs? That'd be fine. Okay. How are we going to do that? Well... You come with me, Rallo, and Zucria and Satoru will go, or vice versa. Okay, that's cool. Any particular order you'd like? Let's let's cover the outskirts and meet in the middle. Farewell. Hey, that works. And I starts. will nod like I know what you're talking about. Horace knows his way around town. You'll get familiar quick. As, as you're nodding, Horace just kind of like he starts moving, and then he looks back and like, like reaches back and grabs you. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, hi. All right. So, uh, so, uh, so Rilo and Horace are a, th- a threesome. What else? Where? Where, uh, where is everybody headed? The uh, actually quick, quick, quick note um, in the, on the area. Um, so the this particular district is actually um, separated um, into like almost like a like a like a what's like almost like a tic tac toe type of of like th- like very thatch work in a way. And um, so you you guys are kind of in the center of this kind of commerce and insanity. And on the right-hand side, nearer to the the dock, there's this long, kind of suite of of uh, f- about four piers. Um, only one currently has a particular some sort of behout um, uh, at it. Um, and the 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 actual area around here is actually fairly slummy looking. Um, there's like mostly 
wooden out, outer kind of looking buildings, but there are shops, um, a few taverns. Um, there's actually a, um, something Zakria that you would know is there's actually a uh, fairly well-known sort of red lack, red, why did I go country? Red light? <laughs> <laughs> red light district. <laughs> Yeah, red uh, line, dead brick. Yeah, um, and um, and there is a um, an estab a specific establishment that is um, also ironically on this called the Pier, um, as well as a, um, a very famous pub called Lynch's. Um, let's see, and if there's anything in particular that you're looking for, holla at your DM. Can you say the name of that pub again? Lynch's. L Y N C H. So, S. storyteller, I'm an urban bounty hunter. I want to use yeah. that feature ear to the ground and okay. see what I can find out about CNBC. Or actually, you know, oh, right. I'm going to ask a I'm going to ask about the guy with the purple robe or the purple purple outfit like mine with the red bandana. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Um, okay, cool. I love it. Okay, cool. Um, so you, uh, I assume you're kind of slinking off um, into, why don't you do me a favor? Why don't you, if you'd like, give me the name and characteristics of a contact of yours? Uh, we'll go with Shaky Pete. He's kind of a guy that's in the know of like all the ruffians in the area. Okay. Cool. Got it. Shaky Pete. Um, what do you typically find, Shaky Pete, when you need some information? Lynches. All right. Wonderful. So you head a bit to the towards the southeast. Um, Assassin's Creed, like just going through the crowd, no one recognizes you um, or gets your your attention. And you you come to, like, the, everything's really shoddy in this particular area, except for Lynch's. Lynch's stands out, this large green front awning um, with flags that are just flowing in uh, in the, um, the, the, the wind, so to speak. And um, there actually seems to be like an actual, even in, even though this is really early in the morning, and when I say early, I mean more like the 9.30s and the 10s, um, it's decently crowded. Uh, and you actually hear like the denizens inside, there's like this like um, strange chant. What languages do you know? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, common gnomish and thieves can't. Okay, um, sounds like a bunch of gibberish, but it is really loud and um, not angry, but sharp uh, <laughs> as this uh, chanting continues. And you open the door and everyone seems to spin around at the, the door opening. And just goes right back to their, their singing and chanting. Um, the inside of the the inside of the establishment is um, very strange because all covered all along the, the walls are denominations of different coins: gold, silver, copper all across and around the walls. Um, it is something that you would know is that it is incredibly faux pas to try and get some off of the wall. You will be banned very, very, very quickly. However, um, on either side are two, um, two small bars with um, accoutrement and taps on either side. Um, 
and seated typically where he is almost all the time is your buddy your buddy Pete. What does he look like? Uh, he's he's in his late 40s. Um, kind of he's got kind of sandpaperish brown hair that's starting to go kind of like salty with some hints of white. Um, looks like he, his skin's kind of weathered. Looks like he's, he was a sailor most of his life or a fisherman maybe. Um, okay. uh, but piercing gray eyes. Okay. Uh, human? Yeah, human. Okay. So uh, seeing you come in, oh, it seems that we've got a bit of business to conduct. Everybody calm down. It's not a big deal. Ah, oh, really this early in the morning? Devin will drop his hood and look at him with his one eye. Mm. This is important. It, he finishes whatever is swill is in his tanker as Jacob spills it all over himself. <laughs> Have no shame, internet. Have no shame. It makes life way more fun. <laughs> you, you got some in your beard, Pete. Oh, mm, mm, mm. yeah. Yeah, you know, blame the saving. Uh, anyway, so uh, where were we? Um, Bolton business, yeah? Mm-hmm. What do you know about an individual who dresses like me, except he wears purple, a red bandana, could possibly be part of the CNBC. Ah, CNBC. Yeah. Um. But not not here. Come. A little more private area, and uh, it kind of takes you, um, still inside, but just around the corner, um, and down uh, these set of stairs. So it it's actually like. One of those bars that you kind of enter on the second floor and there's a kind of a dive bar underneath um it actually looks to be like the size of like an outer kind of deck area um but it's inside um and uh you know there's nobody down there um all right uh so cnbc yeah so um I know a little bit. Uh, seem to be, or from what I, conversations with the city guard, a uh, a recent nuisance, but kind of more loud than um, accurate. If you catch my drift, they certainly don't like you. I'll reach into to my leather and I'll set the letter that we got at the bar at the at the two cats. Huh. Oh, wow, they really don't like you all. <laughs> Oof. That's a shame. Well. So, um, I do know of them. What information are you looking for? Names. How many, possibly? Hmm. Where they like to frequent? And he'll reach into his leather again, and he'll sit in like a huge pouch, just like 50 gold pieces, and sets it in front of me. Kind of takes it in hand and dips a hand in and... Hmm. Well, where it is, they have a... Um, they're typically all holed up in this large, abandoned manor in the north side district. Um... As far as the amount, um, I've only seen or and heard of a of a, a few, no more than three, um, maybe four, but uh, yeah. I will say though, they are, if not high in numbers, they definitely have a few folks talking. So keep on guard, yeah. Anything about the man in the purple with red? Do you know anything about him? Is he one of them? Hmm. Um, I don't know if he, he's one of them, but 
it seems to have some of some import. Um, sources um, say that he's got at least a direct contact with with them, at the very least. It's possible that he's the, the front man, if you know what I mean. Makes sense. He's the one who had the letter delivered. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, um, so it's the, uh, as far as the manor itself, uh, just to give you some context here. Um, if you, when you enter the north side district and you, you know how you have to, um, you can duck underneath uh, the really long wiry line that is typically there as a junk trip wire for, for kids. Mm -hmm. There's typically not, the street typically ends there. But apparently recently, there's been a bit of um, excavation if you catch by drift. Okay. And typically, the reason why no one knows about it is there isn't any direct entrance to get to the manor itself. You have to go underneath the city. Allegedly. Good to know. Hmm. Kind of like passes it up. Ah, oh, I do enjoy doing business with you. Hopefully he doesn't get me arrested or killed anytime soon. Well, if he gets me killed, you may not have to worry about it. That is a great point. Stay out of trouble, Pete. And no hugging. You're so strange. So, so strange. It's like like the classic, like, you go in for the hug, and like there's like a long pause, and it's just like a... Tap, tap. Yep. He's probably worried I'm going to take the gold back. <laughs> you don't see it, but he's got an eye on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And he will... Being here, would Evan or Devin know of a, um, a back way out? Oh, absolutely. Um, there, you can actually... Um, there is a... Um, not an emergency exit, so to speak, but like a, a, a worker entrance on this floor. Um, and that that empties out into like a small back street that then rises up quickly to the to the front. Okay. Yeah, Devin, Devin will use that. All right. And, with a and nod, he, will he, not, he will not stealth. Okay. Cool. So, uh, let's see. So Tyr Zakria, what are you up to? Um, I suppose we would be walking down. Uh, I don't know if we'd be talking to people directly, would we? No, Zakria is going to head to the red light district she knows about, knows of and would probably actually see if she can find any uh, scavengers. Rats, cats, dogs, something like that. Oh, interesting. Some Make an investigation creature. check. Sure. Is this also the side that has the boat, the ship docked? Mm -hmm. Or is it the other side? Okay. The, um, from where you are, the, the red light district's a bit north of that of that area um but you know it's not far like it's probably a 10 15 minute walk okay the 15 total Fit oh 15 total i was like 15 minutes oh wait that was the rule i asked <laughs> uh <laughs> so um the seaside district's known for um a couple of you know there's a, it's a rats are common denizen um, of of this area. Um, dogs typically not so much, but there is one uh, that has been known, this particularly large, mangy, kind of uh, fluffy uh, looking dog that has been kind of nicknamed as the mayor 
because it typically goes swimming a lot. And it is, for a stray mangy dog, it is typically fairly well fed and taken care of. Uh, does she see the mayor wandering around port? Yep. As a matter of fact, um, as you're walking towards the red light district, um, you actually see uh, that there's actually, like, the mayor is just walking, big bone in hand, just trotting down the street. Zakria is going to cast Speak with Animals and call okay. out to the mayor. Okay. What do you say? Uh, let's see. She'll she'll start with she'll start with being polite. Good sir, Mr. Mayor. What? You can speak to me? Yo yo yo! That is like too much, man. Way too cool. What's up? What's up, girl? How you doing? How you doing? What's going on? Oh my God! Can I cannot believe that this bone that I have. Do you see how big this is? Wow! I'm so excited. Anyway, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I can get you another bone for a favor. Oh, what? Two? Two. Oh, bones. and he like walks up, puts puts the bone down, and. <laughs> So Zakir, you just see like yeah, Zakir is just, just like oh, 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 like and they're just having this conversation uh, uh, full on bark. Zakir, are you okay? Yes, just fine. Um, uh -huh. a moment, a moment, and she's gonna return to the mayor and say, um, I'm looking for a uh. man. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Say that one more time. I'm looking for a man. I'm looking for All right. a Yeah. Oh, people? I know people. So many people. Feed me. So, so awesome. What's up? And um, Zakria uh. is going to, uh, let's see. Zakria is, is going to, since the last thing she touched was that letter to read okay. it, Zakria is going uh. to present her hands and go, can you find me the person that smells like this? And she's just going to present her hands. Oh, uh, yeah, probably. I mean, there's a lot of people, though. I, I don't know how long it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to be, but, like, I mean, perhaps uh, I could. It might smell like two different people. I don't want the short one. I want the tall one. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, sure. Yeah, got it. Absolutely. No one. Yeah, absolutely. Can do. Can do. Can do. I'll got it. 100%. Home. All right. Yep. Uh, where, if I, where should I, uh, you know, do you typically stay around here? Like, where should I go? Uh, Cause you're kind of like on my typical path right now. Uh, last we saw them, they were, huh? they were around here, but I don't know where. So I'm trying to find them. Okay. Yeah, of course. All right. Sounds good. Um, where do I go to find you to tell you if I got any news? Zakria is going to take a piece of her tunic and rip it and, and just show it to him. You can carry this to use it to find me later. It has my smell on it. Oh, 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 wow. What a great idea. Great idea, great idea. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 100%. Got it on it. Absolutely wonderful. Um, Great. Uh, I'll let you know when I find him. Um, and then <gasps> bone time, double, double bone time. Yes. So excited, so excited, so excited. Okay, great. <laughs> Anything else? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Oh, you got it anytime, sister. See ya. <laughs> Starts <laughs> off into the street. Zakria's going to turn to Sator and go, please don't tell anybody I've done that. <laughs> I, what? How? I asked him a favor. Dog All I heard was elf. bark, bark, wolf, ow. What? I know, that it's, was. It's incredibly embarrassing. Please say nothing about that to anybody. Uh. I, and so, uh, Satir, as you're having this conversation, like right, like in your peripherals, mm -hmm. there's actually like this small kind of crowd that is, that's just like. <laughs> Tell them I'm touched. Tell them I'm touched. Tell them I've had a bad day. I, she had a little bit too much this morning. She needs to go home, and I'll put my arm over her shoulder and walk her towards the uh, the. The nearest end. What was that? That 
was amazing. Did you just tame the mayor? The mayor? Zakria is going to pretend to be drunk and go, I don't know what you are talking about. Come on, come on. You need to go back to bed. The cat you... is ill. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. And as you guys make your way away from the small crowd of about eight or nine folks that are just like, mm. what the fuck just happened? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We, <laughs> we go to Horace and Rilo. All right. Oh, Rilo, um, you yeah. happen to know any uh, disguise and magic, would you? Huh. I no, but I can make us invisible. Ooh, that does sound fun. Because I can cast that, and I can twin it. Whatever that means. Uh, sure. <laughs> oh. Well, it's like double your pleasure, double your fun. Not while I'm drinking, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds lovely, Rilo. Let's do that. Uh, I, I, I'm a, a bit afraid that uh, we are a bit conspicuous. We, we really are. Oof. Okay, that's probably a good idea. Um, but don't do it in the middle of everybody. We gotta go, go behind I, something. We I'm can't learned, just be disappearing. I'm, I'm learning that. I'm learning. Learning. Um, yeah, we can go over there and, um, and we'll have it for about an hour, um, as long as I can, you know, maintain concentration on it. All right. I'm just casting it in the middle of the street. Nope, we're going to an alleyway or somewhere dark or something like that. Yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah, we're definitely sure. going alleyway. Like, uh, okay, got it. Yeah, so you make your way in and disappeared from sight. Um, where are you headed? Um, we're just following uh, Zakria's uh, directions and going around the outside of everything mm. and then meeting them in the middle. Okay, wonderful. Um, make an investigation check. Um, I you can either do it individually or one of you at advantage if you would like. Oh, how smart are you, man? Uh, I'm he's not. pretty smart. Oh, good, you do it. I'll help wicked you. Smart. Help wicked smart. Wicked smart. I oh, I can't. Darn. Oh, no, I can't cast guidance. Nope. Oh, it's a concentration <laughs> spell. That is that okay. and your help. That and your helping too. So uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. I will um as an angel. No, you're doing that, Maddie. I think we uh the chat has does and uh, specifically Lucha and then I believe Jess has co-signed. Um we have a new shirt to make. Bone time. <laughs> Bone time. I'm totally cool with that. Anyway. All right. With the mangy dog, the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. So that's going to be a dirty 20. Ooh, cool. So you begin to pace yourself walking around, um, eventually your feet leaving the cobblestone, going towards the pier. Um, and you are momentarily uh, you kind of you're having to kind of dodge around. Um, you do see the uh, familiar um, dopey face of a mangy dog that is on the prowl, um, as it just seems to be just looking around. Um, and um, as well as a, a kind of a kind of a few like actual like fishermen that are fishing off of the pier, um, which is great because you also see a sign that says no fishing 
on the pier. Anyway, <laughs> as you continue, <laughs> you continue to cut through the red light district, um, perhaps meeting up and actually joining uh, that small cluster of insanity that has just been dispersed. Um, but nothing really catches your eye on, on kind of that first sort of run through. Um, however, uh, you do see um, that there's a, there is a, in coming out of the red light district or coming out of the small kind of tavern doesn't seem to have any sort of signage out of it. This, this, there's this, uh, yeah, almost like right after you're like, fuck oh, man, I guess we, you know, we, we ain't seen shit, Captain. Um, there's a uh, actual, um, actually, let me make sure I got this right one second. Do, 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 do. Definitely holding on to like Rilo's hand so that I know where he's at. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, hold on. Try to avoid the dog so he doesn't smell. So, you don't you don't see anyone you know with big red you know leather armor but you do see this uh this human that has like this uh kind of grayish black hair um tied up into a ponytail with the the this bandana that um that you were advised about earlier and he's got kind of a five o'clock shadow, darkened. Um, it doesn't match the description uh, that you've given earlier, but it, the, the the headband is what makes you take notice. But he, he kind of looks to be, have very bloodshot eyes. Um, as he yawns and um, makes his way down the street away from you, um, seemingly headed towards the middle of the city. Hello. What? Look. That one over there. Yeah. He's got that. He's got one of those headbands. You think he might be with him? Um. Um. Is the rest of what he's wearing totally gauche? Mm, the rest of what he's wearing doesn't match the the earlier descriptions in any way. Um. Looks to be wearing this like dirty yellow looking kind of blouse ish um it is like untucked and like half like like the, the actual like left collar is like like poking up um he's been he's been probably on an all-nighter uh bit of a bender if you will yeah that wardrobe is tacky probably <laughs> <laughs> People that dress tackily are so suspicious. Yeah, well, automatic no, villain. Like, <laughs> the other people okay. they've been talking it's about were all dressed really tacky, so they, <clears throat> they're probably they're probably in a in a tacky dress club or something. Let's follow him. See where he goes. Is that what CNBC means? No, that doesn't work. Okay, yeah, let's do that. So, um, you can, so you guys are getting to follow. Um, how far away from him are you going to be? Obviously, you're invisible, but still, just for context. <clears throat> um, I want to definitely be within. Uh, what is that? I need to be ten. Within, um. Um, well, definitely within 120 feet. Because okay. uh, even if he pops into darkness, I'll still be able to see him. Okay, lovely. Mm. So um, mm. he begins, to, he makes his way towards the middle of the city, and you follow for a little while, about um, five or six minutes. And like his, like where he like initially had like a bit of a swagger to him, um, he's getting to kind of slow down a little bit and kind of stumble. Um, a little, a little, and you seem kind of cut off into, uh, into like this small side street. And as you continue to follow, you 
kind of lose him around like this large corner um, where this large brick building is for just a second. Mm -hmm. And then you hear the a loud crash <laughs> and sc and someone screams. And as you as the your vision kind of is no longer inhibited by the uh, you actually by the by the building, you see what looks to be a large fish cart that just hit this man. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't see you. Where where did you come from? Oh my god. What I'm I'm so fired. I'm so fired. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Oh, he's not moving. <laughs> Oh, no. Get somebody. No, I don't think I should call for help. Should I call for help? I don't know what to do. What's going to Okay, okay. I got this. I got this because it's not casting a spell, technically. So it shouldn't inhibit the invisibility. Does he do? From 60 feet, I would like to use a bonus action to use two of my healing lights from, from Dave, the angel. To heal us. Okay. Wonderful. And so he, he is a crumpled mess on the ground. If he lost any hit points, is like eight back. Okay. Great. And you actually hear, even from as far away as you are, as this, uh, you hear the binding of bone begin to come together as like the his because he was kind of like classic sprawled out and like his right arm like mends back together and he kind of rolls over drop the invisibility uh, are you sure yes okay. oh my god are you okay I dropped Oh my god, I'm so sorry! Oh, what on earth has happened? Oh no! Don't I worry, know. don't worry, the peacekeepers are here. We will help you. Hi. So the, uh, the young lady that um, just had the worst experience of her entire life, um, she actually had, it's, uh, you actually uh, recognize her immediately. It's Aaron. Okay. Aaron. Oh, uh, hey! Oh my god. Oh my god. I I have to say this is like the best case scenario. Oh, wow. Are you okay? Wow, wow. <laughs> I thought like I was like so dead. And oh, are oh. you are you dead? Are you okay? Calm down. Calm down. It's okay. It just like there just sounds like a beast whale. We'll need to help this poor man. And he just he picks him up. Mm -hmm. And and like okay. holds him as ever. We'll have to we'll have to escort him off. Uh, you gonna be all right with your fish cart? Um, am I, like, is there gonna be like an investigation? Oh, most <laughs> like, certainly, most certainly. Oh, oh but, no! I mean, uh, is there is there something you can? No, I can't. I don't want to. No. Is don't there... worry. We saw the whole thing. Oh, but we'll 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 tell we'll tell we'll tell. Don't tell uh, my boss. Don't tell my boss. Don't tell my boss. Don't tell my oh, boss. No, no, don't no. Tell my we boss. wouldn't talk to your boss. Like, who's your boss? Oh. Like, wait, who's your boss? Uh, Is the career your boss? No. Oh, then you're oh, good. I'm so good. Uh, Can I? Should I go? I should just. Should I just call the city guard? Like, I don't understand what I should. Just I've never been in this situation before. Pick up your stuff, and you know, pick it up, and 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 go along. Don't worry about it. We'll figure out. So you got? Is he gonna be okay? I, I, oh, him? Sure. Yeah. And like, like with like, like this, <laughs> like that face, on uh, her, like just she just slowly begins to maneuver the cart. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You got this. Oh, I think I think, I think one of the wheels is broken. Oh, so no. it's like, eh, eh, eh. Oh, no. it's like squeaking. Uh, and I so, don't know that kind of magic. <laughs> um, Horace definitely like he puts his like he's got he's got uh, the guy in his arm, but he kind of like 
reaches out and is like, oh, no, hold on there, hold on, just a moment. Make sure you're not going too fast around any more corners. Now, I figure that wheel keep you slow enough, but uh, you can't just mm. be hitting people now. Oh, that's true. Or, that's or, true. And like, he, he like feels like for his face and um, his like you see, like, he opens his mouth and his actual, like, tongue is, like, smushed. He, like, uh, or he's just like, oh. Oh. We're gonna have to get that fixed. Oh, I don't know if I can okay. fix that. <laughs> oh, no. uh, I'll do my best. But we'll take, we'll take a good Good care, you sir. I'm a doctor. Sort of. <laughs> He's very good. Oh no, no, nonsense, nonsense. We'll, oh, we'll, no. we'll take good care of you. Don't worry. Built with healing light, by the magic and power of Dave. Don't hit, him uh -huh. <laughs> Don't hit him anymore yet. I gotta, I gotta keep hold of him. Oh no, it's okay. I'm cool. I don't know. I thought I held him pretty good. Oh. Mm-hmm. What? Mm -hmm. <sighs> this is not gonna we, do. Huh. We we can ride here in just a, here in just a moment. We we gotta get out, get you out of these here back alleys. It's not safe back here. I mean, they got fish carts running around everywhere. Mm. He's like gesturing for something to write. Yeah, he just ignores him. He's like, mm -hmm. "Oh, I love it! <laughs> That's great. That's a that is, that is, ladies and gentlemen, is what they call a great character choice." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he he so he it's like stand up like his the front like dirty yellow is now covered in like the front is covered in crimson. Um, as uh, yeah, he's not he's not he's not looking so hot he's looking better than he he was a crumpled unconscious mess but uh he's oh looking a little better now oh my Rallo, god we're gonna have to run now <laughs> wait run Ooh. but i need to heal this man exactly but we gotta get out of here before we can do that Ooh. okay <laughs> but do we i mean Ooh. i mean i can do i don't know <laughs> I don't oh. like this. He's just, he's just like trying to get, he's just trying to get to Zakria as quickly as possible. He's got this big grin on his face. <laughs> okay. okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. You know I mean? Stop. Let's go. He's actually going to start to walk away. Wait. No, he's in my arms. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Sorry. <laughs> I'm um, make, make an athletics check. He's going to, he's trying to, he's trying to, GP. Yeah, he's going to. Oh, he's trying to. I burn. cannot. Wow. I am Will Wheaton tonight. Are you are you rolling super well today? Is that another you? one? Yes. No, Is that another close. One? He's close. not going anywhere. That's a twenty-five. Oh yeah, he I... rolled a three. So so he's just like like you have him in like a fetal position, and you he's just like. <laughs> well, all right. You know, Horace. Come, okay, fine. If you're not gonna slow down, uh, I can meta magic this too. Damn it. Um. <laughs> And I'm going to hurry up. <laughs> I'm going to distance. Oh, I don't have it. Damn it. I forgot. I didn't learn that one yet. Never mind. I'm coming. <laughs> so you just, so, so Horace, you're just essentially like you have this full bodied man just yep. heading Can back I towards. Just please touch injured. him. <laughs> you want to have to catch me first <laughs> damn it i'm small <laughs> but i it's also awesome. have i think i have a faster movement than you no <laughs> <laughs> so i mean yeah. We, yeah. we can we can transition to into a chase scene if we were really doing this um, i'm i'm happy to do it so i'm not know. a normal dwarf i'm a mountain dwarf oh mm. a mountain dwarf Great. Of 30. Let me look at my. Okay. Oh, I know what I can do. Okay. Um, I will like to misty step ahead of him. 
Okay, so. <laughs> so. So you're just Why? like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> so you just. <laughs> like about to run him over. <laughs> Video, not this, I the second will touch the this other day. man one way or another. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you gonna are you gonna missy stuff like onto him? No, 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 no. Like in front, that in really front of you, enough. but like basically like this, just to like, <laughs> like just get my hands out to touch the man so I could cure wounds. Damn it! This guy's a human, okay. right? Yeah. So he's like bigger than I am, or taller. Definitely. So I'm like, I can't see. Over you're just like you just yeah he's, he's going. just yeah so you're just gonna just run like, me over but gonna i'm gonna touch this man. <laughs> i am going you to just, heal this you just man. Hear? okay all right so <laughs> well, so i tell you what um so you man. you did you appear there and i need you to make an dexterity saving throw uh oh, rilo I, I i i feel that's fair oh that's so funny <laughs> i love it uh that uh, is a a 13. 13. Um, so, unfortunately, um, Horace, you, you, you hear this, like, popping noise coming from behind to in front of you, and then I need, and then suddenly you make contact with something, and now I need you to give me a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> At disadvantage because oh, you're God. carrying this yeah, heavy thing. That makes sense. Wow. At disadvantage, that's pretty good. That's a 13. Yeah. 13. Hey. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> still not enough. So <laughs> ass over tea kettle. Ping, and your your uh carriage just <laughs> and it almost in slow motion, dumb and dumber Ooh. style. And I mean, yeah, it is, all you hear in slow motion is do and then least, he just go ahead. Do I at least make physical contact with this man? You absolutely do. <laughs> He's right in front of you. Can so I, can I absolutely you can cast your wounds <laughs> in this melee of <laughs> Absolute stupidity. Yes. <laughs> I fucking love this. Oh my god. Uh, so much. Oh, uh. oh fuck. Okay. I just rolled a uh, fifteen plus five, so that's twenty. <laughs> oh, nice. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So he hits the ground, and essentially, like you, kind of in a weird way, Rilo. Like it's like a wrestling move. Like you, like. Cure wounds him and he slams it to the ground. And and then just this the magical energy of Dave. And like so there's this like so in the middle of moaning goes to like mm. s like escalates into some other noise. It sounds something like Ooh, ah, why? <laughs> I can't answer that. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna lay here. Okay. Just, just let me die. Just let me die. Just let uh, me die. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm just. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm feel <laughs> obligated to heal you and make you whole again. Um, hey, Rallo, why'd you have to do that? How? Why did dirt all over my clothes? You went. Let how me touch him. What? How? Why can I talk now? Because you've been uh, healed. You, you've We're been the peacekeepers. Healed. I'm um I'm a I'm a healer. Okay. And That's... I saw that you got run over by the cart and I didn't like that. Oh, that made me sad. Alright. Uh well, uh this I... shirt's ruined. Oh I'm um... sorry, I can't fix that. But oh wait, my I wife is it. gonna be so mad at me. Oh, I can totally yeah. clean this. I can clean this. Uh, oh, uh, you can? Yes, as I cast prestidigitation. And what? How did you, Dave? What are you, man? I'm Dave. a. I am a petitfling. 
okay. And like he'll he'll like stand up at this point. Um, like his hair is like all a mess, and he kind of like put, puts it back into place. Well, um, sir. Yeah. Do you know who we are? Kind of looks between the both of you. Uh, no. You're, um, you're, you're but, red bandana there. Mm hmm. Is, do you have friends that also have red bandanas that wear them like uh, that? Uh, no, this is just my personal collection. Um, yeah. why? Oh, we're looking for it. We're looking for somebody who's, I don't know, really being a jerk and very, un very unfriendly. And oh. he Man, had a purple, robe. a purple cloak with a red bandana. And oh. we were kind of concerned that you might be an accomplice or acquaintance or something. Oh, no. No, uh, not. I don't do that kind of stuff. Um, the uh, only thing that I could be accused of is uh, a bit of the the booze hall. You know what I mean? Like that's just I, I don't know. What not you from mean, okay. Oh well. Uh, have not you ever been to? Here. Yeah, I can tell. Have you been to? Uh, have you ever been to? Um, to uh, KW? I, I don't think so. Ah, so small town, far to the southeast. You got to get on that that little boat over there to get over there. Wait, uh, is that Lobra? No, no, oh. no. Lobra's to the south, my friend. This is oh. you got. There's so there's here, and then Lobra's here underneath, yeah, well, well, and then KW is. Eh, Big Blue C, KW. Oh, wow. That's, that sounds fascinating. Yeah. yeah. Uh, came to town to do a little bit of a business trip. But, oh. you know, uh, <laughs> I mean, between 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 us fellas, uh, my wife thinks I'm here on a business trip, but uh, I'm just here at a party. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, partying's fun. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, uh, but uh, sounds like this is probably. I see. I like to because I heard the kids like the bandanas, and so like I wanted to, you know, oh. be amongst the youths, and so I, you know, went in, went in, Devalia, went in Jayville, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you, uh, but uh, yeah. I mean. Do you want it? It's kind of st sticky right now with oh, sweat. Oh, no, I'm but... good. It's not really my style. Oh, all right. Um, but I, I, um, I hope you're okay. I, I think I uh, ended things pretty well. Yeah, I'm, you know. I'm, uh, hmm. hey, yeah. uh, I'll tell you what. Uh-huh. If you're ever in, in KW, uh, okay. We, uh, I own a uh, small pie and margarita shop. I don't Couple know rounds on me. Any of those are, but they sound fascinating. Oh, oh, honey, we we have to, some things to fix for you. But if you come to town, look me up. All right. I go by E. E. Mm-hmm. All right. E. It's a pleasure yeah. to meet you. My name is Rilo. Oh, Rilo. Eifling Rilo. Um, that's fantastic. Cool. Uh, wow. What a morning. I really need to go to sleep. Uh, and you, and you my uh, Dwarven friend? Oh, my name is Horus. A uh, pleasure oh, to Horace. meet you. Cool. Well, uh, if you're in KW and you're looking for a slice of pie and margarita, it's on the house. Compliments uh, of yours truly. A lot of letters going on here. Wow. I mean, yeah. So let me let me go to bed. 
Um, Unless you... Are you yeah. okay to get home, everything, or to your... Uh, uh, I'm you feeling... Know? Actually, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I typically have a very sore back that uh, I typically um, get a bit of medicine for, and by medicine, I mean uh, the drink a drink and, uh, well, I'm, I haven't felt better. Well, good. You know, I don't think alcohol is really great as a medicine internally, but externally, mm. it can kill some shit. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But now that, I, you know, this magical stuff, as I think you said, uh, mm, that's cool. I'm impressed. Maybe I should know who you guys are, huh? All right. Anyway, um, if I don't go to bed now, I'm probably going to die. So, um, Oh, yeah, you should totally go to bed. I don't want you to die. Yeah, that'd be bad. Yeah. I mean, got to have, you know, more business trips. All right. And he <laughs> walks off. Huh. Business trips. So, so he tells his wife he's having a business trip, but he's actually going to party. So that means, like, business trips just mean party times? Uh, well, I suppose it, it, it depends on who you talk to, I, I guess. Huh, okay. Well, some, some businessmen do um, go on trips under the guise of business, uh, spending on their business's dime and have a little fun. Uh, but... Sorry, the cat. <laughs> I was like, was there a chicken inside your house? Yeah. <laughs> COVID's crazy. <laughs> this all feels a little morally questionable, but I don't think it's that bad. So, all right, cool. No, you did. You did very good, Rallo, actually. You, you probably just made us uh, a good impression in the community here, over here. Uh. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. I don't know what to say to that. Cool. We go find Zakria? Or keep uh, that's around? probably a good idea. Okay. Shouldn't stick around one place too long. There's potentially multiple people don't like us around here. Um, yeah. yeah, I get that. That I get. Okay. All right. All right. So, uh, Zakaria, what was the meeting place for everybody? Um, I, I guess near the center of, um, Seaside District. <laughs> All right, a miss, a miss of the uh, the fishy shoppings and all the, of the accoutrement. Yes. Lovely, sounds good. So, um, as you're waiting for everyone to come back, uh, you uh, there is a small kind of nuzzle at your at your feet as the mayor graces you with his presence. <laughs> Uh, how long about has it been? Um, at this point, between between all the things, um, and unless you were, because essentially for him, he's been doing a bit of uh, travel, um, so it's probably been about 10, 15 minutes. Okay, so I would have to recast Speak with Animals, so yep, she's going definitely. to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, and in the middle of that man! Minutes, she went to go get a bone for him. Oh, okay, cool. Oh man, I'm so, I'm so excited, so excited, so excited, so excited. Wow, do I have some, some good news, some good news. All right, so before it is bone time, I, I uh, caught up wind. Uh, I had to go way, uh, I had to go actually kind of deep underneath. Uh, I didn't go too far, but because, uh, you know, I got swimming to do and 
getting all dirty and mucky in the sewers just doesn't sound like a good my idea of a, a great time very not bone time so um but that uh i can certainly take you uh to where that entry point is and and then perhaps is bone time number two well, unless there's any other things you want me to to do no i just want you to have a good time Oh, you can be most certain that I will. <laughs> excited, 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 excited. Will you show me? Yep. Okay. And so he he is just gonna darts follow off. Him. All right. <laughs> gonna follow him. So he darts off into uh, into the. Um, do you wait for everyone else, or is uh, everyone else meeting up? Actually, we'll say for the purposes of this, this would, this would be before while everyone's doing doing the thing. So uh, you, he leads you down um, a very small um, side street, and uh, actually takes you to like a large manhole cover, um, and it has like on all sides of it, it has this like like what appears to be an outline of graffiti of like a sun. Hmm. And uh, as I look around, it like goes here and it just stops. So I think wherever he is, he's down there. What do you think? You know, I think you're probably right. I oh, think that's man. the living of a bone. A nose nose. Bone number two, let's go. Zakria's gonna toss him a bone that she went to a butcher's to pay, I guess, like a oh, copper piece man. for. <laughs> he could care less. Oh <laughs> man. All right. Oh, oh shit, I gotta find my, my first bone. I can't have bone time two without bone time one. All right, gotta go. See ya. Thank you, Mayor. <laughs> Starts off. Uh <laughs> oh my god. Satur is just like uh, so here, I, that is the weirdest, I've seen it twice, and that is still the weirdest thing ever. It's, it's a gift of my patron. I just, he, okay, just to explain it to you, the dog's name is Mayor, he's a denizen of Jayville. I asked him if he could smell the man with the purple cloak off of my hands from the letter I touched. And he led me here. And she's going to gesture to the sewer. Uh, if you say so, I... Sure. A dog has no reason to lie. Uh, okay. <laughs> as far as I... I dogs are good pe the animals. Yes, I, I agree. <laughs> So, now that we know where this is, we can go retrieve the rest of them and see what they found. So the the symbol that's on the, the manhole cover, the, the, the spray paint or whatever, is that mm -hmm. symbol, have we seen it anywhere else while we've been running around the docks? You have not. It's the only yeah. time you've seen it. I will make a mental note of that symbol. All right. Can I do a yeah. quick uh, religion check to see if uh, that sun <clears throat> coincides with anything? Sure. Eh, it's just a 10. 10. Um, doesn't sound or feel very familiar, um, especially um, given going back to um, your adventure into the cathedral where every religion was represented. Um, you've combed through that just from an informational research perspective. Doesn't match anything um, that you've, that represents from a religion perspective. Okay, fair game. So a few minutes later, everyone meets up in the streets, in the streets, um, and, um, what would you like to do? Well, what did we all find? Uh, <laughs> um, 
Um, <clears throat> who was that girl again? What was her name? Aaron. 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 Um, we saw Aaron. She's not really great with the fish part. Aaron. Oh. From the tavern. Yeah. What are they doing here? Um, pushing a fish cart. Right, but we got here relatively soon after leaving the bar. How did they get here to get a fish cart and then... Oh, well, then, I mean, probably the Aaron that we ran into in the bar was probably an imposter. And that concerns no one? Mm. That concerns all of us, I would think. What? <gasps> oh. <laughs> yes, yeah, right. so you're beginning to catch on. Yeah. Oh, boy. That's not good. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I have a bit of news. Whoa! Oh. Where did you come from? Uh, doing some investigation of my own. Wow. Like, uh, so okay. there, CNBC is held up in a manor on the north side. But mm -hmm. we're going to have to go underground to get to it. And I think I may know the way. Hey, uh, a friend of Zahir's told us where to go. Yes. It's here. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, we met someone from KW. His name is E. And if we're ever in KW, he says he'll hook us up with something called pies and margaritas. Ah, uh -huh. so sweets and whiskeys. Well, not whiskeys, alcohols. Fermented oh. beverages. <gasps> Sweets, not sweets. Oh no. Not quite candy, more of a buttery sweet. Pastry. I, you know, mm. I really. <clears throat> I understand that I don't catch on to things like super well sometimes, but I figure that y'all would. Like. I don't know any of your foods, and you just like name them off like I'm supposed to know what that means. We'll happily teach you. Just me. Hey. Okay. Just know yeah, it's something delicious. So Creo will gladly teach you. <laughs> I can't think of a better teacher. She's just gonna look at Devin. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. You're the leader. I'm sure there's a pie shop somewhere we can sample. Why does why does Devin say that all the time? I'm does, starting to wonder myself. Do you forget sometimes, or I or... certainly I, I I I'm forgetful. I tend to just say it to remind myself who's in charge. Oh. But what time is it? In the day, getting close to be uh, um, close to ten o'clock in the morning. Okay. All right, we should all know where this hole is, and immediately head to the two cats to make sure that our friends are okay. Oh. Right. So, that sounds like a good uh, plan. Yeah. All right. As the peacekeeper's head to the two cats in was there two errands was it one we gotta go what happened to the proprietor Is it more about he's been there every day every minute of every hour as the mysteries continue to swirl we will close on that note oh no 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 <laughs> <laughs> no we are not done <laughs> oh boy ah oh, so excited to see where this goes ah oh. by the way the mayor is actually based off of 
a doggo that I met on a cruise. Uh, I was that, going to ask. <laughs> yes, um, there is. Um, it's actually just recently passed away. Rest in peace. But uh, it was a. It's just like super. I'll just send you guys a picture. Like this super awesome, super friendly, really cool stray uh, in Grand Turk, which has the prettiest waters I've ever seen. Um, go there when you know this the world opens back up, um, especially on a cruise. Um, but yeah, so as, as as soon as you said dogs, I was like. I have just the guy, because uh, man, that was memorable. I'll, def- I'll def- post a picture of him, super, super friendly. Um, all right, well, damn, oh my God, and we get to do this again in two weeks, what? That's crazy. Um, all right. Amazing. So, I know. Oh my so, so for in two weeks, we'll have maybe a third bone time. Um, so. Let's-, let's get Sue back. Bone right. time. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta get Sue back. Um, you see, Melkier still offered so, to uh, have a bit of a conversation. Um, what's happening with Worscreet? Ah, it's going to be so good. I can't wait. So before we get out of here, um, know that we love you and that you're fantastic wherever you are in the world. And we appreciate you hanging out with us. Um, it does not go unnoticed. Know that. And you are special. Oh, and we love you. So. Did that for him. I know, right? So let's go with Sean and Baby as we close this out. Because tell us who that is. Let's just go with Baby. <laughs> yeah, the baby's cute. There is no, there's no, there is no Sean. There is oh no my Sean. God! There, there is, is no only, Sean. There's only Baby. Only Elliot. Oh my God. Only Z. Oh my God. Hello, Elliot. Um, yeah, this this is my daughter, Elliot. She is one. She's, she's amazing. She's so adorable. Oh. But um, I am Sean, aka at No Tweet Sean, uh, on Twitter. I am one of the admins over at Thread Raiders. So come say hi to us. Um, we love you. We are very closely linked with Natty. Natty is one of the OG Thread Raiders. OG. Yeah. OG. <laughs> um, OG. We will be putting out uh, ads on Twitter and. Uh, on our Discord for our extra life event coming up, so keep uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. You can follow us at Third Raiders uh, at Third Raiders, um, and uh, yeah, awesome extra life coming soon. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. You're gonna see some of us, I am sure. Mm-hmm. So let's see. So what do I want to go with next, Chris? Well, I'm Chris. You can find me at Chris on the Twitterverse, uh, Slip3D on the Discords, and then you can also find me at my uh, in my nonprofit over at uh, BadlandsDnd.com, where we're doing all the live D&D stuff that we can possibly handle to bring awareness to people and doing all the fun stuff that that pertains and does. Uh, we have a few things going on behind the scenes with Badlands D&D to hopefully uh, bring some D&D therapy to people too. So we'll see how that all goes. So uh, hopefully we'll see how, if that partakes into, and goes off, uh, I'll bring be able to bring you some more information on that. But yeah. yeah, all sorts of fun stuff. All right. Awesome stuff. Super cool. Oh, let's see. Who do I want to go next? Jeremy! Hey, everybody. I'm Jeremy Darth and Trey on Twitter and Instagram. Um, I am a Vampire the Masquerade storyteller. Uh, starting the 17th of October, I will be on Onyx Path running a Cult of the Blood Gods, Prophets, and Providence with some of my fellow players in my Saturday game. Uh, it starts 1 p.m. Eastern time to 3 p.m. Eastern on Onyx Path. So go check out my Twitter and Instagram for tweets, stuff like that, so you can keep up to date on it. Awesome. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. And go into I'm the ready. deep archives of the Thread Raiders and watch this ridiculous vampire one shot that Jeremy absolutely crushed at as a storyteller. So um, go do that. Do your homework. So says Duval, so says we all. <laughs> Maddie! So say we all. So say oh. This is the way. Mm. This is the way. I... 
Yeah, I'm Natty. Um, stuff. Wow. I'm so tired. Um, so uh, nerdware.com. <laughs> this. Yeah, so nerdware.com. Um, we still have a few sets of dice. I found a set of the, uh, the, the, the mist, mist, the teal and purple ones. So I was like, oh, okay. So there's a set of those, some pink ones. Go get them. Um, I am playing tomorrow, uh, Surrender Your Booty, um, Tuesday, Threads of Fate, and Wednesday, Taldori, World and Chaos, all on Soul Bear RPG. And... And then uh, next weekend, it, back to the Retroverse with Infinite Arcade. And I think I'm supposed to do a So Chatty. I don't know if I've actually scheduled one. Um, so, you know, we'll see. And... <clears throat> uh, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. Um, things are going on here at home that, I don't know, might have... I, I might have to take a break from things for a little bit. Um, but we'll see, you know, sure. um, doing our best, doing our best. And, uh, oh, yeah. but so, so happy to have this time with you guys. This is so much fun. I love being this ridiculous little nut. Thank you. Indeed. Thank you. And the official cartographer of Duval and Dragons. Take it away, Jess. Oh, hi. So I'm Jess, aka Freckle Sketches on everywhere. Uh, our official cartographer of Duval and Dragons. I'm excited to hopefully be presenting you guys with the map soon. I've been working diligently on that. But um, this has been so great. I almost couldn't make it today. And I was literally like looking at everybody that I was with today. Like, I need to, I need to be there. I, I can't, I can't miss a day. I can't do it. <laughs> I need my fix. So, so here I am. <laughs> yeah, thank um, you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's been so great playing with everybody. Every session gets better every single time. Y'all are unbelievable. Um, yeah, I thank you so much for, for making the extra effort. I'm I'm eternally grateful. And I, I also we also have Jess and I have a running tally of every time she sends me something, and I say the following one of three things. I say, oh shit, oh fuck, I'm good, I cry. <laughs> It's unbelievable. Some of this shit. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Actually, oh, I have some I have some joke about homework earlier. I have some homework that I'm overdue on that I need to submit. Uh, I'll get to it whenever there's time. Um, speaking of time, this is why I don't have time. Hi, everyone. I'm Jacob. Um, do all King Jimbo on the internet. Um, eternally grateful, as always. Um, you can, of course, find us here every other Sunday. Uh, twitch.tv slash so many games you're already here it's right there um also tuesdays you can find me on geek attack uh, twitch.tv slash thread raiders as olabar the absolutely insane half orc fighter super fun um this upcoming wednesday september the 30th you can find me on twitch.tv slash say work with josh and um because we're gonna play some blades in the dark i'm really excited about it i don't even know what's gonna happen it's gonna be super cool um Let's see, what else? Uh, coming up really soon, um, I think somewhere in October, if I get the actual day, back on Thread Raiders, uh, we'll be playing a little Icewind Dale. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and uh, I'll just say um, bugbears are people too. And <laughs> we'll just leave that as the team. Yes, for they now. are. <laughs> Indeed they are. Um, and um, what else? Um, I'm missing something. Um, oh. We, I will just say this. I don't know when it's coming out, but uh, gotta tell you, super excited about Shadows Over Palanthus. We're just building a lovely little backlog of Dragonlance beautifulness, and it's gonna be so, so fun. Uh, I can't wait. So, uh, you know, stay tuned for that on the internet. And uh, once again, very soon. Uh, we love you so much. Thank you for being you. The world isn't the same without you. Just remember that. Oh, right. I was going to look for who is going right now that I know. No, no, no. You're breathtaking, Lucia. You're breathtaking. Uh, right, right. <laughs> Hold on. Lucia's after my oh. heart. Mm-hmm. Lucia's mm -hmm. after my heart. Mm -hmm. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. I don't 
really know for sure, but um, Featherfall's oh. doing a Curse of Strike game. Who? Ooh. Who did you? Yeah, Strive. let's go watch. What's let's the name? Like go, let's like go watch and stuff, you know? Featherfall. Like, oh my god, did you oh, like see her? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Let's do that. We're going to do that. Cool. We're going to do that, so we'll hit that and we'll go read that. And thank y'all for joining Love us. Love you. Love um, you. We will be back you guys here are the best. this Thursday for Colica Thursday. And we will see you then. Bye. Later.